Hello, hello, hello. We're back, we're back, we're back. For sure, for sure, for sure. Hi, Mama G. Okay, before Hi. we before we go any further, you guys, I want everybody to imagine this, okay? Imagine a big red heart behind me. It's glittery. And the blue lights have the bulbs have been changed out to red. Because that's what I have. And it's right over there. They're just not there. Because <laughs> I never did it. Because I never found the time to do it. So just make believe that everything in the background here is Valentine's Day oriented. Red lights and beautiful red hearts with glitter. Not just red hearts, glitter hearts. Do you, do you like it? Love it. It's beautiful. Mama G had my... What? Do you like mine? <laughs> yeah, I love yours too. Yours is beautiful. Mama G had time to change her avatar. It's beautiful, Mama G. Thank you. It's beautiful. I love it. It looks just like you. Right. It does. <laughs> it does look just like you. T, who's texting you? Nobody. I'm just making sure all my volumes are off. I don't want to get yelled at. Oh, just okay. remember to turn them back on because I keep forgetting to turn them back on and then I don't hear people when they text or call me. <laughs> oh, mine, mine isn't off either. Maybe nobody will text me and I won't have to turn it off. Oh, well, happy. Text or call me. What was that? Nothing. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. Who are you calling? I forgot to mute. It was the video. Oh, 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 oh. happy Valentine's Day, happy everyone. Valentine's Day, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Hi, Shell UK. Thanks for coming in. Mama G, there's the registration link. If anybody's coming in for the first time, please fill out that registration link. We will go over the rules depending if we see anyone in gray or if anyone is interested, we'll go over the rules. Otherwise, welcome to the family. Um, this is our family. Everybody here knows, knows the rules. Dora, hi, honey. Thank you. Steve, SW Records. I won't forget his name now because T told me the tip. The S is for Steve. Hi, Steve. Steve, did I tell you I love your hair? I think your hair is really cool. <laughs> I love that like you've got the top of it bleached out. That's not natural, is it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> but hi, Steve. Donna Summers. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Chandra, hello there. Oh, Chandra has a new profile picture. Is that, hmm, she's got that, that, this eye, like, hmm. That's not new. It looks like a, a Yadro. It's not? No. Oh, geez. I don't know where the heck I've been. Little Martin's Nest. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you Little for Martin's being here. Nest. Trisha. I hope everybody had a nice day. Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay. Julie Morris. Hello, sweetheart. Julie, I love your picture, too. So I called T like a half an hour ago, and I said, T, I have been out since right after the premiere. I did I did the premiere with the in the car with the girls, and then I ran out, and guess what I've been chasing the whole time? Pokemon cards. Can you believe it? My daughter wanted to get her boyfriend Pokemon cards for Valentine's Day. And we went to like five different places looking for Pokemon cards. I said to my daughter, we should have done a video. Like we should have done a video. Like how many stores we went to looking for Pokemon's, Pokemon cards. They are so hot that you can't find them anywhere. We went to GameStops. We went to Target. We went to Walmart. Can't find them anywhere. Kimberly Garcia. Hello, hello. But you know what, you guys? I have to tell you something about Pokemon cards. You got to go with the trend. If you, it's like the stock market. I'm telling you right now. If you've got, if you're sitting on Pokemon cards, you got to sell them. I was telling somebody. I was on the telephone with someone, and they said that they had a whole bunch of Pokemon cards. And I said, if you want me to sell them to you for you, send them to me because we definitely have a following for Pokemon cards right now. Because it's like the stock market, you guys. You know what? It, they're trending right now. Six months from now, nobody might want them anymore. 
they might not they might want them to put them in their collection but they might not pay up for them like they are right now because it's so hot right just like anything else it's like a new restaurant in town you know when the new restaurant opens the lines down the street and around the corner and then six months later you can get a table when you first walk in you know i always use the new restaurant in town as an example don't i t mm -hmm. And T used and T used to have a restaurant, so she knows exactly. Like when I use that analogy, she knows exactly what I'm talking about. It is. It's like the new restaurant in town. Pokemon cards. <clears throat> Hi, Nikki. How are hey, you? Hey, Nikki. Nikki. Thanks for coming in. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, we were in your neighborhood today. I was thinking too bad. I never make it up to Jupiter anymore. But we went to um, the Walmart in Jupiter and we went to um, um, the GameStop in Jupiter. Nothing. Can, Can I interrupt you for one second? Is Cheryl, it Cheryl, Cheryl and Babel rewatched Morning Coffee and she's in for a $50 dibble. Oh, she is? Okay. I'll write that down. Let me write it down right now. Mystery Dibble for Cheryl. Well, it's not a mystery. Don't write mystery. It's it's our Sunday morning special. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to mix that up. Yeah, Cheryl Lynn, $50 Dibble box. You got it, honey. More action here than at Daytona 500. What's going on, Kyle? What kind of action are you talking about? You know something we don't know? You haven't gossip? I know some things that are going on. What's Mary Ness? Hello, Don and T and everyone. I filled out a new form, so my address is correct. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Mary. Mary, I love your eyes, honey. They're so beautiful. She's been hearing that her whole life. Be right back. We just started, Wonder Woman. Sit down. Betty Webb, hello. Nice to meet you, Betty Webb. Yes, it's so nice to meet you, Betty Webb. Fancy. Hello, hey, Fancy. Fancy. Susie Q. We have a diner in town. Um, Wonder Woman <coughs> probably knows that it. it's called Susie Q's Diner. And every time it's not a diner, it's a restaurant, but she calls it a diner. Every time I see Susie Q, I always think of Susie Q's Diner. And that is one of those places that's like a little family-owned restaurant. And on the weekends, the line is out the door and around the corner. And it's not the new restaurant in town. It's just that they have such good breakfast that people always go there on Saturday and Sunday mornings. It's it's hard to find like a really good breakfast place, you know. I know. <clears throat> and when you do, people like stick to it. Even though it's pretty simple preparing, right? Belgian waffles. He wouldn't think it was that hard. Yeah, but people love a good breakfast in the morning. It's like their treat. That was like the first exposure my husband had to cooking. He worked and managed an IHOP. <laughs> oh, yeah? Hi, Carrie. Jen Bennett. Hello, sweetheart. Nora, did I say hi to you? I don't think hey, so. Mary. I don't think I did. And Richard Sanchez, hello, 14 oh. degrees in Dallas, Texas. Oh, I have to show you. The, oh, did I, oh, it's not on here. I think it's on my, oh, yeah, I can probably show it on here. Hey, Bobby. Jim G, hello, welcome. Do we know Jim G? We Bobby. must, he's wrenched. That's that's from Texas. That's from Richard. Wow, they built holy cow. Jim G is not wrenched in the YouTube chat, sweetheart. Oh, he's not. I'm sorry. Okay, Jim, if you want to partake in either some buy it nows or some best offer offerings, please fill out the registration link. And when you finished, if you just could just say to us, it's done, uh, T will let me know, and we're on my channel today right <laughs> i always i always get them mixed up and i'll send you i was going to tell you before we started to switch us and see if people ask oh, us you should have. You should have. <laughs> okay you guys here we go june bug has hello one more quote someday everything will make perfect sense so for for now laugh at the confusion smile through the tears and keep reminding yourself that everything happens for a reason yeah 
everything happens for a reason. Uh, yeah, okay. Good quote, June. I'd like to think that, though. I would like to think that everything happens for a reason. Siggy! Hey, Siggy. So are we all in the tomato? Is, has Siggy been going to the tomato garden? I don't know. <laughs> Siggy, you go to the tomato garden? Edrafrida. I don't even know who started the tomato garden thing. I have no idea. I just followed along. Okay, Jim G does need a wrench. I have a registration now. Okay, as soon as I go over, I'm going to have Jim make a, a right, Jim, right now I'm in my StreamYard um, window. As soon as I go over to my YouTube window, I'll, I'll give you a wrench. I'll ask you to make a, a comment. Uh, Cheryl Lynn, hello. Wes Robinson is here. Hello, hello. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at something. Somebody's registered. Did we did we have somebody else in the chat who may have just registered? Cindy Murphy, welcome. Yes. Hi, honey. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. And let's see. I don't want to miss Tom Cruise. Hey Tom. Bettina H. Can I get the polls, please? Sure, Bettina. Absolutely. Tom Cruise, I hope you had a wonderfully successful auction last night. When I was in, it looked like it was hopping, rocking, and rolling. It was awesome. Sabrina Jackson, hello, sweetheart. The Countess is in the house. Welcome back. Rachel, hello, chat. Is way too fast for me to read, but hugs to everyone will be listening. Listening. Okay, honey. Thanks for being here. Making homemade marinara and watching the auction. Jim, you're kidding. That's what my son is making tonight. But I think he's making it at Lola's house. Massimo, are you making your sauce at Lola's? Yeah. What a good boyfriend, right? He's bringing everything from the pan. You're bringing the pan over there too, right? Because <laughs> he has, because we have like nice, like stainless steel pans. We bring in, he's got all the ingredients. Uh, Mrs. Anonymous. Hi, T, Donna, Mama G, and all my friends in the chat. Hello, Mrs. Anonymous, with that very cute little pit bull that I know. Yes, I know who Mrs. Anonymous is, I think. Will, will somebody check, clue me in? Uh, I'll send it to you. I don't know if Mrs. Anonymous wants to know. I don't know if Mrs. Right, Anonymous. I'll, I'll put it in the ch private chat. Okay, you ready? Okay. Wants everybody to know, but I got I got a message from Mrs. Anonymous. Um, Heidi Leslie, hello, sweetheart. Oh, um, Mrs. Anonymous, welcome. <laughs> yes. Um, perfect, perfect. You guys, we don't keep secrets from you. We don't keep secrets from you. Honestly, we don't. But some people, they just want to um, rename, remain anonymous for different reasons. You know, like their their husbands at home. <laughs> There's a hint for those of you that were in the auction last night. <laughs> yeah, for those of you that were in the auction last night, you'll know who Mrs. Anonymous is. <laughs> right. Let's see who else is here that I haven't said hello to. Lindsay, did I say hi to you, honey? Thanks for coming in. And Christopher Chatworth, they have the 25th anniversary Pokemon five pack cards in McDonald's Happy Meals. Do they? Oh, I'll have to go get a Happy Meal. I <laughs> can her to McDonald's for a Happy Meal. <laughs> so, needless to say, I didn't get any shipping done. I spent the whole afternoon with the girls. Right, Jenny? Jenny's laughing. Whose husbands are watching? <laughs> I have Mine been. isn't. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I've got you written down. Thank you so much. I think the problem comes into the high bid is to Mama G for $120. And my husband would go, say what? <laughs> Right. Hi, yeah. Nisha. Right. Hi, sweetheart. Donna, did you know that McDonald's is selling Pokemon cards right now? Selling them or putting them in the Happy Meals? I don't know. 
Now talk about marketing jumping on that bandwagon. Right. Ooh. According to Picky Nikki, they're sold out already. Talk about fast thinking marketing people see how they're like so ahead of the curve so they knew that the pokemon cards must have, like we know them as being super hot right now right so they must have known however long it takes for them to process them get the marketing out for them get them packaged and get them to all their mcdonald's stores i mean how long does that take it's got to take at least a month if not more right right isn't that yep. amazing you guys yeah <clears throat> well, they're a million dollar company so true yeah so that's why you know that goes back to what i was saying like if you're sitting on them you gotta move them now move them fast it's like the stock market you gotta sell one that's high husband shouldn't be on youtube jenny <laughs> <laughs> here we don't even have to buy a happy meal you can just buy the cards p.s my husband is watching <laughs> hi mrs anonymous husband <laughs> connie connie's books and things luckily i can tell my husband that there are several more connies in the chat now. <laughs> right <laughs> it's so true what do we have we have we have connie m who needs a who needs a val desperately yes. connie johnson we have Connie A and Connie books and things. Is there any more Connie's? I don't know. I don't know. Kyle, yeah, the managers just sold sold them all to scalpers at most of the stores. They're supposed to be shipping more cards to stores next week, but definitely call need to call McDonald's to see if they have them. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the McDonald's up in Juno Beach. I wonder if they have them because they're like in an area where there's like, kind of a lot of senior citizens and like snowbirds and and stuff like that. So I wonder. I'm sure any Pokemon collector has already hit like every McDonald's in the area, even that one. My son sent me a video of these guys who cleaned out a warehouse. Flew to LA, a coffee shop who sells unopened boxes of cards, opened them live, and you see this guy got five. Shira, I can't. Charizards. Charizards and made. $30,000. $30,000. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a thing. Yes, as soon as I go over to my YouTube. We will do that. Hey, Saxton, welcome hey. in. The cards hit McDonald's about two weeks ago. Did they? I didn't know anything about it. Hi, Susie. Hey, Susie. When hubby watches auctions with me, I look at him when I'm interested and he says, you better not. <laughs> Sabrina. Go, dog, go. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for coming in. Jade Moon, happy Valentine's Day. Okay, I'm going over. Did I just see Heather? Let's see. I was just scrolling. Did I see? Did I see Heather? Here we are. Out of ignorance, why are Pokemon so popular right now? Heather, the only thing that I can think of is that Pokemon was really, really popular probably about, I'd say, 25 years ago. Would you say, T? Probably, yeah. Okay, so about 25 years ago. And so what I think, I mean, I don't know. I think that the, the kids that had them 25 years ago that gave them away are probably kids that are now in their maybe 30s, 40s, maybe even 50s. No, maybe probably 40s. And now are they're successful and they have careers. This is just my analogy. And they well, have it's the 25th year anniversary as well. It, okay. It's the 25th oh, that's why year. McDonald's is doing it. Like Chris right. said. That makes sense, years. right? Yeah. So a lot of the, the a lot of the people that had them in their childhood that their parents either gave them away or they threw them away or whatever they're probably wanting them back because it reminds them of their childhood and you know perhaps they're successful now and and they're just uh, they're buying them up like crazy because they remind them of, I mean that's that's my thought I could be completely wrong but 
That's my thought. Sorry. I had to move that bag of scarves. <laughs> I was like, I was rolling on top of it. Hi, Deborah Reed. Welcome in. Welcome in, sweetheart. Okay. I'm going over to my YouTube. Sorry about the dog, you guys. Somebody must be at the door. Okay. So Jim needs one. Oops. T. Boston. Oh, let me just, let me mute myself. Okay. All right. It was one of Massimo's friends in Boston is all excited. All right. So Jim gets a wrench. Thank you, Jim, for coming in. And let's see who else, who else needed a wrench? Make a comment, please. Hi, Ronnie G. Oh, Richard, look at Richard's, but some guy is selling 23 unopened McDonald's Pokemon cards for $200. Man, I'll tell you what, people are like, they're right away, they're profiting on it. So how much does one... Bettina needs a wrench, she just commented. Okay, how much does one Pokemon... Oh, and thank you for becoming a member, Bettina. Thank you so much. Um, what does one Pokemon card cost? Well, it's usually sold by the pack, not by the card. No, one pack. Right. One pack. I have no idea. Does anybody know what they sell for? Sorry, you guys, about the dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, MJP, did she? Um, yes. Or All he? good. All good. Yep. Okay. Hey, sorry. Pat. He'll come down in a minute. Sometimes when some of Massimo's friends come over, he gets a little excited. So sorry about Boston. Where's hey, casual? Kyle. Kyle has your disease. <laughs> Kyle said, hello, Fauna. Where? Kyle Tehran. Huh? Kyle Tehran. Um, don't yell at me. <laughs> I don't see it. Um, okay, let me just get this off the screen. Tehran two hours so i'm safe until then um yes oh thanks for the reminder yes 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 um they're going for about twenty dollars oh for a pack steven really that god that how do kids afford a pack of pokemon cards i figured they were about two or three bucks hey pat d's hi sweetheart Hi, Shannon. Thanks for coming in. Me wow. $20 a pack. And how many packs? I have to go back and try to find that. How many packs did he say? Um, oh, no. It depends on the store. Some stores are price gouging. The packs are ranging from $1.99 to $6.99. Oh, that sounds more reasonable. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can get them. You can get them in a Happy Meal for $3.49. Oh, they're price gouging, really? Yeah, 23 packs for $200. So he must have bought some Happy Meals? I don't know. How did he get... Oh, maybe it's starting bid at $200? I don't know. I have no idea. Ronnie, I told you, take your time unpacking, honey. One sealed Pokemon jungle booster pack. Wow. Well, in a happy meal, it's three something. Isn't it crazy? It depends on the pack. I can't believe that McDonald's is in the business of like selling. That's crazy. I was in McDonald's last night and the lady said I could buy a case for five hundred and forty-five dollars. Wow! Do they say McDonald's on them? I wonder. Do the Pokemon to say have a, a McDonald's advertisement on them, or are they just a straight up McDonald's? 
Hello, everyone. Since I couldn't find my E, I changed my name. Look in the <laughs> Ooh, I love that. That is a great name, looking for a deal. Nice, Connie. Nice. I love it, Connie. That's awesome. Great name change. I love it. Is that even legal, Saxton says. Walmart sells for about eight bucks a pack. We went to Walmart, Brad. Um, my daughters and I today, we couldn't find any that were sold out. They're sold out everywhere, depending on the store. Pokemon don't make don't make them a special company for McDonald's. Pokemon didn't make them special company for McDonald's. Mm. So does that mean that they're not putting McDonald's names? McDonald's not putting their name on them. They're straight up real Pokemon cards. That's what it sounds like. Bo. Bo Bo. My friends online are telling me that McDonald's sells. Po oh, yeah, you already got some. Yeah. Where? I subscribed to McDonald's. You went to McDonald's. Yeah. When? I don't know, like two days ago. Oh, two weeks ago. So two why? Days ago. Two days ago. So why did we just spend five hours driving around looking for more? She knows about it. She needed more. Because she needed more. I know. I said to T, I'm like, I called her. I'm like, I've been driving around for five hours. I said I could have drove all the way up to Atlanta. <laughs> or McDonald's was a dollar ninety nine five pack one. Hey, Craig Wolf. Hey, Bruce. Lamp. Whoosh. Um, so Devin is in on Robin's phone and she's wow. doing much better now. Thank you for your wishes and prayers. You got to catch them all, Fauna. You can't just catch some Pokemon. Got to catch them all, I guess. I guess, I guess. Okay, <clears throat> so we do have a giveaway that we're going to be doing tonight. Um, and I am, did you get my text? I did. I did. I did. I probably answered you in my mind. I'm sorry. Sounds like there's more kids here. Boston. Sorry, you guys. Um, Craig Wolf has uh, set up. Okay, could you guys quiet down, either go up to your room or outside or something? Can I share it? Can I share it, Craig Wolf? Can I share your picture? He's got his um, some of his items that he bought for me. He's actually got more coming. We are on lockdown for the next three days. Ice storm has started. Oh, really, Bruce? Huh. Wow. So, this is his... Uh, Yes, he said I can share it. Well, I was about to do it without even your permission, but oops, let me take down this banner. Yes, that was Boston. <laughs> Those are some of his items that he bought for me. Um, isn't the sound? Um, isn't the sound out of the uh, the ornaments unbelievable? Like it's so crystal clear and such good quality. It really is. It's unbelievable. Hi, Lucinda. Welcome in. Hey, Lucinda. Yeah, isn't it cute, Harley? Just here to watch. Okay, Bruce, I'm so glad that you're here. Spent the morning getting fire ward just in case. Just in case his power lines fail. Kyle says the McDonald's packs are probably worth more open than unopen. If you do the math on what the rarer cards are selling for, your odds are to get them. So they're putting rare cards in them too? I guess. I know nothing about them. <laughs> 
We're supposed to get COVID shots tomorrow, but are getting horrible storms, so I don't know if we'll make the shots. Hmm. Hi, Bonnie. Donna T stopped to say hi. Bonnie, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Bonnie. We're getting snow and sleet tomorrow and Tuesday, Heidi says, and she's cold. She's freezing. Um, sorry. I got a text. So my phone is on silent, but obviously T's isn't. <laughs> but mine is. Because <laughs> I just I thought I silenced everything. I'm sorry. No, you did not. <clears throat> Don't you have a button on the side of your phone that you can just you can just flip the button and it silences everything? I don't know. Maybe. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. All right, you guys, 124 of you in. Thank you so, so much for coming in tonight. Um, T, when do you want to do the giveaway? Um, we can do it. Why don't you set yourself up and you can do it now? Okay. I have to, yeah, I have to set up the whole, you know. Yeah. And um, do you want to show while I'm doing that? Oh, sure. Okay. Let me, um, let me grab. Let's see. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I've got some flush lots. I have a clothing lot here. I have a big bucket of I was gonna put these in my big jar, but I haven't taken the I haven't taken the Valerie Gilmish, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Valerie. Get your teddy. Oh, happy birthday, honey. All right, let's sing Valerie. Happy birthday. We missed a couple of birthdays the past couple of weeks. So this goes out to everyone that we missed, but especially to Valerie for today. All right, Valerie, are you ready? Happy birthday. I hope all your birthday wishes come true. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Make a wish and blow out the candle. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Valerie. Happy birthday, honey. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Okay, so here is, I wonder if I should ju uh, dump out my, um, I wonder if I should dump out. Okay, so let me just show you. I'm just going to show you like this. And for those of you that know my um, my keychain lots, this is all keychains. This is all keychains. I'll put myself on full screen. Okay, we're going to start this off at $30. I'm going to tell you guys about the weekend specials too, in case some of you missed them. $30. And I'm going to just show you some of the things that they're not just um, keychains. These are bookmarks. And I know that there's a whole bunch of bookmarks in here. Um, some of them are really beautiful. There's a lot of butterflies and... Here we have a purple flower and another purple flower. So you can see there's there's quite a few of these in here. There's a dragonfly. Um, and then there's, and you guys will just have to look them up. I know the nurse flipper bought a... Uh, a keychain um, bundle for me, and she did really, really well with that. Um, look at these. Are those like not the cutest things ever? I'd put those on the Christmas tree. Um, then there's, I mean, there's like little purses. I didn't look to see if there's a name in it. Um, this is called Swing. 
what is this? It's called Swing. And I guess it's a little picture frame one. And there's some vintage pieces in here that, you know, you would put a photo in that. There's some beaded pieces in here, which are really cute. There's some vacation pieces here, St. Thomas. Um, there's a, quite the assortment. It's kind of like a mystery of pieces in here. This one, this looks like a Brighton. I don't know. I haven't looked it up. There's that piece. It's leather. Um, little cute Dalmatian. So this is, this is a great lot for people that like to sell smalls. Oh, there's a couple of these. Have you guys seen these? These are those no touch keys so that you can open up door handles or you can like use it so you're not touching anything. There's some of these in here, which I mean, it's just incredible how people just, you know, they, they mark it on stuff like right away. Um, there's a beautiful, it feels like glass. It does not feel like plastic. This is a, um, it's a lanyard. There's that lanyard. There's this lanyard, which says Yankees on it. And it's a really nice one. It's embroidered. It's not just printed on there. Um, there are some religious pieces in here. I'll show you the whole box again in a minute. I have one of those, Donna. One of which ones? Um, I have no idea what this is. Anybody have any idea what this is? Is that a money clip? Here is... This feels like glass. There's the Twin Towers. There's a hammer. Um, this just says AAA on it. Here's a pretty one. Where's Elizabeth? Is she here? It's a pretty one of a cat. You put keys in, keys in it. Oh, do you, Bruce? So that's just to give you a sampling of what's in here. Um, there's a lot more. It's like a Oh, look at a wrench. That's cool. All right. We have 55 now to join Munkin. There's one of these. That's something handy. That's really handy. That's really handy, right? Yeah. Brand Makers is the name on it. Um, this is, what does that say? Let's see, Michael Kors. Let me see what this says. I can't read it. Where's my thing? Yeah, it's Michael Kors. So believe it or not, something like this. So this is probably from somebody's pocketbook. So if somebody has this pocketbook and is missing this, or if somebody has, wants to sell this pocketbook and they're missing this piece, they'll buy it to put on the pocketbook because they'll get more money for it. If they have that piece on it, there's this. I don't know what this is. Maybe if you're going out to visit the tomato garden, <laughs> don't know. That's also to keep medications and matches in so they won't get wet, anything like that. Yeah. You think it's waterproof? Some oh, of them are. Probably because look at it's got looks like it's got yeah. rubber. See how it's, it's got, got a rubber? rubber seal in it. Then there's also some. Are we done with the bedding? Because I, I could sit here all day and show these. There's um, some character ones in here. There's this. I don't know what this is made out of. It's a pineapple. It could be from Hawaii. It could be lava. I don't know. Just to guess. Um, 
Can you say an approximate of how many? Um, oh, a lot. A bit? There's a lot. I'll show you. Look. There's a lot in here. There's no way I could even guess. I mean, if I had to guess. Oh, this is pretty. It's a watch with a butterfly. But it's a keychain. Well, it's a it's got a hook on it. I mean, I'm gonna guess. I can't even guess. Do you want me to try counting them real quick? I mean, I would say at least 55, if not more. Oh, there's this one is cute. You know what this is? This is real handy. Hand sanitizer. Oh. With its own little pouch and keychain. That's really cute. That's adorable. All right, should we close it? Always remember you are braver and stronger. Okay, here we go. Let's all read this. I only read the first few lines, but I think we all need to read this. All right, you guys. Remember that. Just remember that. I'm trying to see if this has the seal over the top of it. It looks like it does. Maybe it doesn't. You know how they do that plastic film over it? Oh, yeah. All right. Are we done and done? Oh, this is cute. Oh, yeah. This is cute. This is um, this is great if you have a dog or put it right. on a Siggy. Huh? Siggy says we should get a T-shirt that says someone's looking for that. <laughs> yeah, this is a great one. Joy is out. Flippin' Hot finds in at 70. That's awesome. That's an awesome one. That's great to put on your on your um, pet when you're walking. All right? Don't forget about all the bookmarks, too. Those are all great in here. Oh, this one's cute. Little bicycle, little aluminum bicycle. Here's one from St. Thomas. Here's another one from, I don't know where that is. You'll have to research it. There's another one from St. Thomas. And then there's just little bookmarks like this too. Oh, here's a, how appropriate. It's from Ireland and it's a beer opener, <laughs> a <laughs> bottle opener. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Leave that out for the mail lady to let her know you got packages. Oh, the blinking light. No, I'm lucky. She she comes no matter what. She comes no matter what. This is interesting. This is brand new. It's a keychain. It's got a pretty design on it. And I guess it's got these discs on it that you can change it. Different designs. And I sold it, Donna. You did? Yep. Okay, hold on one second. Who bought it? Flippin' Hot Finds. Pam. All right. I've had this in my wallet forever and ever. You can see I just got my wallet out. I've had this in my wallet forever and ever, and I'm going to put it in here just because, and it's a beautiful Brighton piece right out of my wallet. See? It's a Brighton. And it's it says luck, life, faith, and love. 
So you can keep that for yourself if you want. Or you can sell it. But I'm throwing that yeah. in as a little special Valentine's. Okay. Is that good? That sounds good. Okay. She said it's gorgeous and thank you, Donna. Oh, my pleasure. I hope you like it. Flipping hot finds. Um, keychains. <clears throat> I wanted to do a video um, of that, of all those keychains. $70, lot number yep. one, 214. T, why don't you put yourself on? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I'll have to pull because it's your channel. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> uh, when I'm on her channel, I say, I say things like, let me put you on. <laughs> I'm going to put you on. T, let me put you on. And then when she's on my channel, I'm like, T, put yourself on. Uh-huh. <laughs> T, that is so funny, right? We're so confused. <laughs> well, I'm confused. All right. So I want to thank all of you who left a comment on last night's video. So I, you want to share my screen, Donna? Yes. I'm going to put all of us on. And then let me know when the screen shares up. I'll watch for it. All right. <laughs> Fancy thinks is laughing at me. I know, right? <laughs> okay, here's the screen. All right. So I put the last night's video in there. 43 comments. Thank you guys so much. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome, you guys. It really does help, and I appreciate it. So now, now I have to, um, I guess, bribe you guys all the time to leave comments. <laughs> all right, you ready? Here we go. We're going to pick it. We're going to pick it. Nancy Newell. Oh, awesome, Nancy. Nancy here. Yay. I don't know if Nancy's here. Yes, I think she is here. Did I not Nancy, see her? Are you here, honey? Well, we didn't say she didn't have to be here. Yay, she's Yay. here. All okay. right, Nancy, brand new in the package, Logitech 390 headphones. Oh, That's an yours. awesome gift. They're yours. Awesome. Congratulations. Awesome, awesome. I have to do, a, I have to make myself a note. I just remembered something. Okay. Let's see. All right. Okay, and real quickly. Did you need to talk to Kay Fry about the scarves? Because they're in the chat. Oh, Kay Fry. I don't know if you had an opportunity to watch my Let's Sweeten This Deal uh, video that I put out yesterday morning. But originally, I was selling five scarves for $18. And I sweetened the deal. And I did 10 scarves. 10 for 25. So a lot of people have taken the upgrade. Some people have not, no pressure. If you want to stay with your fives, you can stay with your five. If you'd like me to upgrade you to the 25, I will also do that. You let me know. Oh yeah, you did. K Fry, I have K Fry on the list. I have K Fry on the list, Mama G. So they must have been in morning coffee. Okay, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Or they no, left that's okay. You didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or oh, they left me a message. And I've got so much on my mind, I didn't even realize that K Fry was on the list. So, okay. I need to take K Fry off this list. Um, yes, I already did. I already took K Fry off that list and put it on put them on the new list. Okay. I'm so I was just trying to make sure that was handled. 
You're perfect. You're perfect. Thank you. Whoops. Um, T, you gonna show something, honey? I'll show something if you want. You gonna go get a couple of things? Um, kick from the studio. Yes. Oops. Did I just kick Mama G? Oh no, I kicked. Oh, you know what I did? When I kicked. <laughs> Oopsie. When I kicked um, the screen share, I meant to yep. take only the screen share out since she was the owner of the screen share. I kicked her you out. Bye bye, too. You kicked me out. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> T. The last thing I heard was kick from studio. And then I was like, Goodbye. <laughs> Carrie's like rookie. <laughs> Poor T. They're all saying, oh, Donna, Bonnie's saying, no, you guys, you have to understand when you do a screen share and you get rid, I was trying to get rid of the screen share, but she's the, oh, she was the owner of the screen share. So when I put, when I clicked, <laughs> Joy, I haven't been at the tomato farm. Worse, I've been with, I was with my teenage daughters for five hours straight this afternoon. Five hours straight. You have no idea. You did you watch the video? <laughs> did, did you watch the video? I tell them all the time. You girls need to have your own YouTube channel. They're like one person. They are. They when they talk, they're like my favorite part of it was. I don't know if you guys saw it when we pulled up to the drive drive up. I, I won't order. At the drive-up window, I just if they're with me, if you guys saw saw when I was with Nancy, oh you my god, that was like so hysterical. That's, it's very tip. That's I don't I don't know why I speak very clearly. I don't know why they have such a hard time understanding my orders. So when I'm with my girls. I either pull up, I pull up and if Chazzy's in the back seat, but in my video, like Bo reaches over me and she's ordering at, at the drive up. And what's really funny is Bo's ordering. So her face is pointing to the drive up. Right. And I'm like sitting back and she's like over me and she's ordering and Chazzy's in the camera like this. And she's lip syncing everything <laughs> that Bo is saying, because it's the same order all the time. They order the same thing. And Chazzy's like this in the camera and she's lip syncing <laughs> word for word what Bo was saying. And she's like really serious. <laughs> and then Bo turns around and she's like, what were you doing behind my back? And Chazzy's like, just lip syncing. And Bo's like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's so funny. It's a, that That is my favorite part of the video. My favorite, favorite part of the <laughs> Dean Oliver goes, yeah. I went, to, I went to McDonald's and ordered a Whopper. I don't know. I just, uh, yeah. The lady must have thought I was crazy ordering a Whopper at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. Oh, that's funny. <sighs> Welcome to my world. Chez did it perfectly, didn't she, Carrie? It was so funny. You need to have a reality show, Life with the Bottolinos. Oh, my God. You have no idea why I didn't record this afternoon is beyond me. I should have. I should have just turned on the camera. You guys would have laughed hysterical. These girls are so funny. I am. I'm trying to, like, get them to do, do their own YouTube channel because they would be hysterical together. They would. They're so cute. They're so cute together. All right, T, you're on, honey. All right. All right, we'll start with some comics. Iron Man number 40. The Flash Annual number one. X-Men 451. Willow, number two. Willow, number three. Oh, look at that. Willow, number one. Maybe we should have made sure we put those in order. One, two, and three. <laughs> All right. Batman, 660. 
Superman, the Man of Steel fights for his life. Superman, the wedding album. Didn't even know they had a wedding album. Come on, focus. Focus, focus. Batman, number 511. Green Lantern, number 8. Eternal Enemy, number 13, The Valiant. Oh my gosh, we have a $500 bid. We do. From Frank. Wow, Frank, thank you. <laughs> Indiana Jones, number one, Faith of, Fate of Atlantis. What is Ronnie telling me to kick in the ice hole? Your camera, because it was blurry. Oh. <laughs> this looks like a, a doopy. A doopy. Eternal Enemy, number 13 again. Time Jump War, number two, Apple Comics. Cable number one. External warrior number twelve. Eternal warrior, not external. <laughs> Archer and Armstrong. Number eleven. Eternal warrior number eleven again. Oh, well, that's a different one though. One's Archer and one's. Okay, so Eternal War, you actually have 11, 12, and 13, it looks like. I don't know if that matters, but I just thought I'd let you know. So, yeah. All right, we'll flip, we'll flip them one more time. Don. Casuals in for thirty seven. John's in for 39 now. Casuals in for 41. Right, Dawn's in for 43 now. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Casual. Thank you, Dawn.
Don Center 43. Casuals out. I'm going to call it to Don. Thank you guys. What are my stickies? Really? I had them here all ready to go and now they're gone. Sold to Don. Thank you, Don. What's my stickies? What's my sticky stickies? My desk was cleaner. Oh, here they are. Here they are. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to do this little sports lot. Um, I have, this is all I have found of these. I don't know how many there's supposed to be in this pack. They're not box or anything. They're just these heavy metal cards. They still say they have their protective film on them. Um, and it's a stack like this. Oh, you guys have seen these. They're just heavy metal pieces. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What year? Hmm, Cindy. Looks like ninety six. There's a little bit of a delay, T, just so that you know. Okay. Might have to pull the Don. Might have to pull the Don a loop. Might have to pull the Don a loop. You guys, please don't forget to go over and give a thumbs up. The haters are in town. Ninety-two, ninety-five. So I'm assuming it's ninety-six. That's what it says on. It. All right. So what are we up to? Twelve. Thanks, guys. Thank you for giving the thumbs up. Thirteen counteract the thumbs down 14 15 hi lisa hi 16. honey hey lisa 17 john. thank you john 18 19 yes 20. i did casual 21 25. Yes, Anthony. 20. Yes, Anthony. We know because tomorrow and somebody else just gave another thumbs down because tomorrow the they'll be down to like the two or three that that do it. 30. I don't know if that's a checklist for that. 31. But at least it's my uh, favorite number, 11. <laughs> 34. 35. Right, right, honey. Thank you. 37. 38. 39. 40. 41. 42. 43. 44. I should have had these counted before I came on. 45. 46. 47. 48. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 
Hey, Leon. Hey, Susan. 57, 58, 59. Thank you, John. 60, 61, 62. Hi, Woodbine Girl. 63 of those metal tin, I don't know what, what, what they consider them, tin or metal cards. And then um, this Lou Gehrig 24 karat gold plated um, baseball coin. Um, new, Hi, new, uh, new York Giants 2005. It says pin collection, but I don't think I see a pin. I don't know why it says that. It's sealed, and I don't see a pin in here. But but you are going to get pins with this lot, too, because I found one, two, three. Thank you, Julie. Four more of the Liberty basketball pins, 10th anniversary. And then this... Basketball draft picks, Christian Later. Hey, KJ. Hey, KJ. Thanks for coming in. And this is Major League Baseball Trivia Board Game. Hi, Rambling Rose. Thanks for coming in. So those are those are these are both well. They're, everything is really sealed except for the actual the actual metal cards. Um, but a couple of good things to list. You know, you list one pin, you've got four of them there. And then the 63 cards. They're heavy. <laughs> and they still say they have their plastic. I guess there's a film protective thing on here. So that's what you get. Oh, Pamela, no, I'm fine, honey. I'm absolutely fine. Oh, she's fine. We're just both tired. It's been, it's been no, a, long, a little bit of a long week, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of hours this week. Yeah. Casual is at 38. Dawn is out. Josh is at 40. Thank you, Pamela. Hey, nose picking. Forty-two from Siggy. Oh, cool! Thank you, nose picking. Forty-four from Josh. Thank you. For this coffee. <laughs> yes, I'm drinking. I'm drinking it, Kyle. We stopped at Starbucks, and I got myself. Uh, Cappuccino. <laughs> hey, Larry. Un cappuccino. Larry said for 46. Hi, Amber. Hey, Amber. Josh is in for 48. All right, Siggy says she is out. We're going to call it to Josh. No, Larry's still in. Sorry. Thank you, guys. You reached 48 me. 48 from 100. Josh now. Casual is out. You got me to a hundred thumbs up. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. Kyle says Adana Chino. 50 from Larry now. Thank you, Larry. Hey, darling. Hey, Debbie. Hundred and two now. Awesome. You guys rock. Thank you so much. Let me make sure I gave it a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, 103. 14. Are they kidding? I know, right? <sighs> That's all right. All right, Josh is gonna be out. We're gonna sell it to Larry at 50 going once. Hundred and fifty of you here tonight. Thank, Thank you, you so guys. much. Thank you so much, everyone. I brought some one-offs, you guys, because I I did get a request for some one-offs, but I also do have some lots as well. So I'll be having some one-offs coming coming your way. All right, to Larry. 
Thank you, Larry. Vintage memories. No one gets sent to the corner yet. <laughs> Frank, <laughs> warning, don't stray. <laughs> <coughs> Don't stray into the corner. I did, and I got a contact high. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Larry. That's funny. All right. I'm going to do my one off for the evening. Well, I don't know. if I might do more than one. I might do. Oh, what happened? I might do more than one off, but I bumped into this little guy at my storage unit. Cute, just in time for Easter. Easter. I figured now I'm not sure um, if he has, let's see what he has on his ear. I have to, I didn't do any research on him. I just grabbed him. I said, oh, let's bring him. Seasons by Nicole. I have no idea. Has a wire in his ear. So you can move his ears however you want to put his ears. Um I don't know, Chandra. What's the matter? She says, why do I feel like those 14 thumbs down represent only one very bitter person? Who knows? Oh, Don, I know, honey. I know, I know that it's still interaction. I know. As long as there's plenty more thumbs up than there are thumbs down, it doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt the algorithm whatsoever. So she has um, a plastic body. She has a plastic body and soft arms and a soft head and booty feet. Mimi, she is wearing a dress, not he is wearing a dress. <laughs> Did she say he's wearing a dress? <laughs> she wrote, is he wearing a dress? <laughs> it's Mrs. Uh, Patty Cottontail. Not it's not Peter Cottontail. It's Patty Cottontail. Uh, really? Thank you, Casual Flipper. And a little carrot, little carrot basket. It's a big bunny, Jenny. It is. It's probably I'll be over. Does she have a date on her in the back plastic or anything? Let me see. How much do you want to start her for? I don't know. I have to pull up her dress. Okay. Oh, T kept saying he? Did I say he? Really? Here we go oh, again, yeah. Donna. She has some kind of, like, beans. Oh, yeah, to keep her standing up. I guess, yeah. Uh, T, how many inches is she? Oh, probably bigger than 18. 20, oh, yeah, she's like 25. So shipping on her is going to be very expensive. Hey, Gabby B. Welcome in. Hey, Gabby. Thanks for being here. I mean, I can, I can keep Joe, going. Why are you saying see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil? 24. Yeah, almost 25. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I don't count her ears and I push her head down a little bit. <laughs> you have a bit on her yet? Because she's going to no. be. All right. Because she's going to be at least $25 to ship out. She's a door stopper, says Siggy. She may not be heavy enough for a door stopper, but maybe the beans are in her just to hold her up. Yeah, I don't know if you can add more beans anywhere. We can start her at 20. I'm okay with that. All right. We don't judge bunnies by what they wear. We judge bunnies by what they bring us for Easter. That's all. Pulled her in half and called her call her a yoga bear. Would she does she is she flexible? No, it's a, it's a <coughs> Julie says I need beans to hold me up. You got something else to hold you up, Julie. Julie. Julie's Julie, well, we could bring the rabbit out to the tomato garden. Maybe. All right, if there's no interest, we'll pass on here. <laughs> no worries, we'll pass. All right, we'll pass on it, Mama G. All right, honey, you go. All right. 
All right, so my first one up is this very cute thing here. This is a little Christmas bear. And let's see. Ah, oh, Julie's enjoying her garden this evening. The tail moves too. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe because the whole body's moving. But it recites the whole entire, the whole entire story. The whole entire story. Isn't that crazy? The whole entire story it recites. So I think it's really special. Let's start it at twenty. Um, it's uh, it's adorable. It says it says the whole entire story. So very very cute. $20 to start on this little baby would make an adorable gift for anybody who uh, is going to be expecting a baby right around Christmas time. Grandchild made me sleepy, Julie Morris. <laughs> Sorry. What's the make on it? Um, the make on it is sound and light made in Hong Kong copyright reserved sound and light is it okay nose picking wants it for 20 anybody else for the Christmas bear Woodbine girl says, me too. Let's call it down to nose picking. All right, if there's no other interest at 22, we're gonna go once. Going twice now. That's one thing we didn't go over was the shipping under $30. Oh, well, we, yeah, we didn't go over anything. Oh, gee, I didn't go over any increments or live chat or nothing. Ed, I thought of you when I saw this. I'm like, 22 to Ed. This. Has a sweet little voice. I don't. I would play it again, but I don't want anybody to fall asleep during the auction, <laughs> so I won't play it again. Nose picking. Let us know, honey. Thank you, Carl. Carl, welcome That's to the a question. Down. Yes. Paying for shipping if under $30. $30 or more is free shipping. Yes. But you can combine the lots with the same seller. With the same seller, whether it's with me or with T. All right, you guys try to stay awake. I'll play it one more time. Well, I can't. 
Who's snoring? Sorry, Carl. Sorry. I don't want you to leave. <laughs> What's their YouTube channel, Siggy? <laughs> They're all sleeping. Well, that's good. That's good to know. If it's putting adults to sleep, that means it would put kids to sleep. Sold one of these. They're so cute. Yes. Very cute. Do you know the YouTube channel that Siggy's talking about? Um, who's talking about it? Siggy? What about a YouTube channel? Harry and Megan announced that they're having a second child. I don't know who Harry and Megan is. I was just wondering what their ch channel was. I don't know. I have no idea, but congratulations to them. <laughs> Prince mm -hmm. Harry and Princess. Oh, oh. Megan. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, Prince Harry. Oh, I thought oh, it was so awesome. <laughs> so this is going to Ed's house. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> All right. So you guys, this, so th uh, there's a story behind this next thing that I'm going to show you. I bought an estate about six months ago and the woman that, um, was the person who cleaned out the estate very specifically called me and said there was three pieces that were removed from the house that should have not been removed from the house and the family wants them back. Now I haven't looked them up. I do, don't even know if there's a marking on them. And she said that she would be by to pick them up and that she was going to mail them to the family in New York city. And these are the three pieces. It's been six months. They haven't been in touch. Obviously they don't want them. So I'm not going to list them. I'm going to bring them to you. There does have somewhere on the coal on the gold. I don't know if they're for sentimental value. They've got strawberries and gold on them. These did not come out of the estate I recently bought. These came out of another estate. So here is the creamer. And this to me would be the sugar bowl, right? I think yeah. that would be the sugar bowl. And they're very dirty. Um I have not washed them. And then this piece here is very beautiful. This is, um, I believe it's a butter dish, a very old butter dish. Um, if anybody recognizes the pattern, if there's any glass people in here, um, this is when I need like someone like, uh, um, what's Jocelyn? Um, the crazy lamp lady. She's so well versed with this kind of stuff. Yeah. It needs a good wash. <laughs> it does need a good wash. I have not washed them. Um, so these three pieces, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to start them at 30. I don't know if anybody would like to buy them for their own personal use, or if they have a resale value on them, if you want to look them up, um, maybe strawberry butter dish, gold trim. I don't know what you would call it. Like I said, I don't see any markings on it. Um, it's definitely glass. It's not um, any kind of, it has a little chip right here um, I, that I'm feeling right now. It has a little chip here and a tiny, tiny little chip on the top. Let me see if I can show it to you right there. You see it right there is a little, little tiny chip at the top. But other than that, I don't see any other chips on it. So that's what you get. You get this beautiful butter dish. And the sugar and the creamer. And like I said, yeah, the crazy, the crazy lamp lady is adorable. I love listening to her. She has such a great calming voice um hey renee hey paul 
it may have been because of um, sentimental reasons that they wanted them back, but obviously they didn't want them bad back enough because they never contacted the estate seller again. Um, 32 from Betty Webb now. But they're, uh, they're really beautiful and they'd be beautiful in my China cabinet, but I'm trying to get rid of my, I'm slowly getting rid of my glassware stuff because I'm not fancy anymore. I don't do those fancy dinners like I used to. I mean, I kind of do set the table fancy, but not like I used to. But the strawberries on it are really beautiful. You can see. And they probably sparkle like crazy if they were clean. But they, I didn't clean them. Um, this one even actually still looks like it has a milk residue at the bottom of it. See it? From the cream. It's been sitting in there for years. And I'm sorry that I didn't clean them, but I didn't. And there's the um, the butter the butter tray. Beautiful how you know things were displayed and presented during fancy dinner parties years ago. Like this is such a lost era now. All right, casual flipper comes in for thirty four. Betty Webb is out. Saxton, are you still in here, honey? Thank you, Nikki. They are beautiful. Okay. It's called, okay, K Fry found it. E A P G. Oh, they've removed it. Nothing gets in my wallet except quite like the phrase milk residue. <laughs> what is he saying? No. <laughs> Um, Saxon, you want a sports lot for me? And I keep forgetting to ask um, when, when I sell them last night. Do, do you want to pick a book or do you want me to just pick one for you? I have the Subway series. I have the Giants Undefeated. And I have the um, Moser. It's a cheese and butter dish. Yes, it's. I, I, I believe it's a butter. I believe it's butter, not cheese. I believe this was used as a butter. Paneled strawberry, 1911 strawberry with Roman key. Strawberry with Roman key. Well, I don't see a Roman key on it. I, I do see. Yes, the Subway series is the Yankee Saxton. You want that one? That pattern, but I don't see a Roman key. Just FYI, not a butter dish. It is a biscuit dish for tea and biscuits. How many biscuits can you oh, fit really? in there? <laughs> the biscuits must be like tiny. Look at how small that is. I mean, it's not like super, super tiny. I mean, it's this big in comparison to my head, but it's not. Um, let's see, $34 to casual flipper. Awesome. Okay, let me just go put this on the shelf over there for safekeeping. Up it, actually, I'll put it right here. Hey, Kyle, how funny would it be if the prior owner buys it on eBay? Right, if they find it, maybe they got in They they lost touch with the um, with the uh, estate seller. I don't know. I'm going to do these separate because somebody might want Shrek and somebody might want Donkey. So I'm going to do these as two separate pieces as one-offs. Okay, so let's start with, we'll start with Shrek and we will start him off at $15. Don. <laughs> Casual. Flipper. Hey, Lou Rainer. Biscuit that's, dish. That's not going to happen this week. I'm sorry. I'm probably not even getting to the storage unit this week. Mama G, was it $34? Yes, $34. Thank you. And what, can you see the maker brand mark tag on this guy? Yeah. DreamWorks. Shrek 2. Oh, no, not DreamWorks. 
What's it say there? Hasbro. Hasbro. Ed's like, it's Patties. <laughs> right, Kay Fry? It was our favorite movie, too. We loved it. You should hear my my um, my girls sing Alleluia. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. They're so good at it. He looks like one of my old boyfriends, Julie. T, did you auction off the signed comic book yet? No, KJ, not yet. I have a couple of them, actually. I think I have two here that I could grab. Yes. Those ears will be fine. Not to worry. No, he does not talk, Carl. He doesn't. But he's a big boy. He's a real big boy with his big old belly. He's a great shark. He's got a great face on him. All right, we've got Josh in at 15. Vintage Treasures comes in at 17. Yeah, he's huge, Tammy, right? The big old belly. Big old belly. T, I sent a Valentine's Day card to one of your dolls. She's not on the screen. She didn't see that. Which doll, Dave Jackson? I only know of T having one doll. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. Did he? Did you buy one, Dave? Jeez. Jeez, whiz. It's more information. TMI. TMI. All right, we're counting it down to vintage treasures. Is there a year on it, Carl? Um, let me check, honey. Let's see. 2004. Two, oh, it is DreamWorks, you guys. Shrek 2. 2004 DreamWorks. 2004. Holy cow. Look at the condition of this guy from 2004. He's beautiful for 2004, isn't he? In great shape. Yep, 2004. I mean, there's like literally, like I see like one little tiny spot on them right there that a magic eraser spun will get, sponge will get rid of. Other than that, he's in great shape. Carl comes in at 25. Thank you, Carl. Yeah, he was definitely a favorite in my house. My God, we watched watched him over and over and over again. 27 to add. <clears throat> Those of you that are collectors, like these things, these, these types of stuffed animals, man, I'll tell you what, if you can hold on to them for like another 10 years, they're going to be so desirable. I bet, I bet they'll go way, way up. Does he look like he has a stomach ache right now? Carl is out. Ed is at 27. Shrek has a big heart. He does. He's awesome. All right, let's count it down to Ed. And let's put this guy here. And he's actually been a longtime favorite of mine. Um, I I don't know. Italians, Italians and donkeys. Italians love donkeys. And so I, I've always loved donkeys, but there's donkey. <laughs> He's awesome. Um, I'll look and see what year he is. He's probably the same year because they came together. 
Um, he's 2004 DreamWorks also by Hasbro. And he's beautiful. You can see how big he is. He's a big boy. He's, he's like the perfect match to Shrek. But I did them separately because somebody might want a donkey and not Shrek. So I decided to do them separately. But he's great. 2004 for this one too, Carl. He's a 2004. He's in excellent condition. He's beautiful. Like brand new. Hey, Swamp Picker's in the house. Hey, Glenn. I love Donkey, right, Carl? I love him. I love I love the noise that donkeys make. Hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. I love hearing a donkey's a donkey's noise. Amber, you might be right about the glass. What's Amber saying about the glass? Is she are they talking about um the glass that I just showed? Maybe. Amber, congratulations, Cattle Fisher. I think the pattern is called Strawberry and Cable by Northwood. Well, let me tell you, the estate that it came out of was a very, very wealthy estate. Hey, Uncle Mike, welcome in. Hey, Uncle Mike. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, it that was a beautiful piece, beautiful piece. And the pieces that the pieces that I got out of that estate, I actually um sold most of them. Um it was to a viewer that was local and she came to my house and it was a lot of glass and I sold the whole thing in like one I I brought some pieces and I still have some pieces left but I sold most of it as one kitten caboodle out the door she came <clears throat> only Donna only Donna what that's right Julie Morris I agree all right anybody else We've got Ed at 20, so Ed gets both, unless someone else comes in. And look at how awesome they both are together. They're great. They are great. They're really awesome. All right, we counting it down? I'm going twice now. We're sold, 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 sold to add for 20. Thank you, Ed. We have a pretty good lag and everything. If people want to refresh real quick and make sure they're on live chat, okay. that'd probably be beneficial. All right. And I have another one of these and then I'll put you on. So this one does not have the tags on it. It's a cuddle burn. Yes, So, um, a $25 start on this. Connie, I have, I have, um, this is the third one that I've sold. Hi, Connie Johnson. Frank Perez got one, Edja Frida got one, and someone else got one and like a hundred dollar toy lot, mixed to toy lot. I threw it in last minute. So this is the fourth one. Last but not least, 
Yeah, so cute, right, Summers? All right, 32 to Susie, 35 to Summers. Woodbine girls going to sleep. Susie's out. Summers is in at 35. Oh, Connie no. comes in at 40. Sean, it's not creepy. Hickory, it's so Hickory. cute, honey. I love these talking toys. I love them so much. I hunt them down because I love them so much. And I love presenting them to you guys. No, it doesn't bite, Richard. Oh, Gary, thank you, honey. You had an awesome show last night. Happy Valentine's Day, handsome. It doesn't stop, puts you to sleep. It's awesome. Yeah, Ed's granddaughter loves it. He has sent me pictures. All right, let's sell it. Let's sell it. Let's sell it. It's so peaceful, right, Woodbine Girl? Connie to 40. Connie Johnson. For $40. She's beautiful, Connie. Excellent condition. Not a spot on her. Like brand, brand new. The one Frank bought still had the cardboard on it. It was so brand new. So she's gone. All right, T, you ready, honey? Yes. All right, here comes T. Thank you, Connie. Is Bruce still here? I don't know. He said he'd be in the cheat chat and call his name if you needed him, so Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> I have a question for Bruce. All right. Well, when he gets back, um, I have a question for him. All right. Next up, Robin, one of five. It is autographed by Chuck Dixon, the writer, Tom Lyle, the penciler, Bob Smith, the inker, Adrian Roy, the colorist, Neil Adams on the poster, who is the poster artist. The poster in here is still intact. If you guys want me to take this out, I will take it out. You have to say it three times. Oh, Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. <laughs> um, if you want me to take it out, I'll take it out. If you want me to leave my hands off of it, I will. I don't have gloves here to put on. I hate to touch, keep touching this stuff, but I did verify the signatures, and I verified the poster that's still intact in the magazine that is signed by the poster's art artist so that's what you get i'm going to start this off yeah leave it don't take it out i'm going to start this off at 25. Uh, okay fry found the um the set that i just sold oh really yes it's uh 1911 you guys oh that's when it was made yes it doesn't say it, it this what what k fry sent me doesn't um here let me just put myself on the screen real quick it doesn't it doesn't say um but there it is look oh yeah 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 it's uh it's ebay gold leaf pattern strawberry 1911 wow it's so good at looking stuff up wow 1911 who got it um casual flipper for 34 
Wow, casual That's flipper. Nice buying, casual flipper. Good deal, casual flipper. Good buying. That's awesome. Congratulations. Okay. What, honey? I'm sorry, but could um what book number is that again? One of five. Oh, it's on okay. Etsy. And it says covered butter dish, Jonathan. That's what it says. It's a covered butter dish. Plus, plus uh casual flipper got the the sugar bowl and creamer too. Yeah, okay. that's really nice. That's really yeah, nice. awesome. Thanks, you guys. Thank you, K Fry, for the um for the picture. All right, Picky Nikki's in for 45. It worked, T. It did? I didn't see him. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. <laughs> oh, there he is. Yes, I did ring, Bruce. No, 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 no. Don't go anywhere. KJ's at 50. All right. While you guys are bidding on this, I just want to ask Bruce's opinion on this. This is not for sale. This is not for sale. I just want to ask Bruce's opinion on this. Have you seen it before, Bruce? And who do you think might be the signature on it? You would have to look it up. Okay, I'm just curious about it. I'm not. I don't think I'm going to sell this. I, I really. That's like a piece of history. But I just wanted to ask you if you knew anything about it. My father saw it go up in person. Really, Nancy? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to sell it, Bruce. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100% it looks real. All right, Picky Nikki's going to be out. Christopher Chatworth's at 60. KJ, let us know. See, can I see it one more time? Oh, the, the the photo? Yeah, it's definitely a real signature. I mean, I have it in plastic, but um, it's definitely a real signature. I just don't know who would have signed it. Is it one of the guys who put the who put the flag up? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's just awesome. It really is awesome. It was the second flag to go up. It wasn't the first flag to go up. That one was staged. Yeah, okay. KJ's in for 75 now. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you, KJ. Okay, Bruce, I will, honey. Christopher now at 80. Thank you, Daryl Cole. The last name on the signature looks like Williams. The last name on the signature looks like Williams Medal of Honor Hirojima. That's what it looks like it says. Somebody Williams Medal of Honor Hirojima. Okay, Bruce. Herschel Williams. Yes, that's what it is. How did you know that, Vintage Treasures? 100 now from Christopher. Last surviving member. Yeah, that's why I don't want to get rid of that. Are you kidding? That's such a piece of history. Wow. 27 Medal of Honors from two-month Battle of Iwo Jima list of names on my history ancestry site. Wow. 
So they looked it up. Yeah. KJ, I just need to know if you're coming in at 110 or if you're out, hon. I don't want to sell it, Julie. I really don't. <laughs> 110 from KJ. Yeah, I, I really, when I saw it, I said, no. Nah, I, I, I. Oh, okay. So it is it an original or authentic signature then? Yeah, I guess so. I don't have a COA on it. Like a lot of the right, stuff right. that I have signed, I have a COA on. I don't have a COA on this, but I'm sure I'm almost, I mean, I, it's a real signature. I wouldn't even doubt it, but yeah, you know, I, it doesn't matter. Again, I don't, I don't think I want to sell it. Christopher now at 150. Thank you guys. Am I giving something away here? <laughs> Of course, Bob, Barb. We'll let you know. We'll clue you in. <laughs> Frame and hang, yeah. One sixty from KJ. One seventy from Christopher. Heidi, I didn't know Heidi was in the garden. Always, always, Stephen. Sports cards up to yin yang. <laughs> you see what Julie says? Oh my gosh, team! My husband received one of his medals from him. I will send you a pic, and we know him, so he would authenticate it. Wow. Amazing story. And yes, it's original. KJ, let me know if you're in or out, please. Wow. Well, there he is. Herschel Woody Williams. It's so funny because when I was in school, history was not my thing. It's only older in life that I've been so fascinated with history. You know, it's like my husband's family. I can trace his family back to the United States to like 1640. The May, almost the May, if not the Mayflower was one of the ships that came over and like his three great, great, great grandfather, six, you know, six back fought in the American revolutionary war, fought in the, the other grandfathers in the civil war. So it's just, I've, you know, and I know always we, we've have visited the historical house um, of my husband's ancestry. So, you know, it's on the national historical uh, registry. So that got me so involved in the history and they were, they were here from New York in upstate New York. So it's um, pretty amazing. And then when I worked for Chase, um, because Aaron Burr was the third vice president of Thomas Jefferson, he was actually the founder of um, New York water company, which eventually became Manhattan um, bank, which eventually was Chase. So like that goes back to like uh, 1799. So that's the only my older life has have I been involved in history. <laughs> All right, are we sold? Where are we at? I lost my chat because <laughs> I was too busy chatting. <laughs> All right, we're gonna call to Christopher at one seventy. Right, go go dog go! Oh my gosh! Congrats, Christopher! Thank you, Christopher! Congratulations! Thank you, honey. So appreciated. 
All right. I don't know what these are. I don't know who these people are. You can look them up. Well, no, I know. I know who some of them are. So I have three photos. One is Steve and Edie. Steve, Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet. The other one is Sammy and I'm not sure. Is it the boxer? Who Who is? Is it Joe Frazier? I think it's Sammy and Joe Frazier on this one. This one's not signed. It's just a photo. So we've got three photos that we're yeah. going to start and the with. Third photo here, twenty dollars. The third photo here says Dr. Cantro, best wishes, Andrian, cause something MD. Have no idea. Oh, it is MLK. Oh, it is MLK. You know, I was going to say that, and I. Oh, all right. I was going to say that, and then I said no. I don't think so. With Sammy Davis Jr. But okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I guess it is. I was going to say that, but for some reason, I just don't pitch in with Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> so three photos here. Two of them with signed dedications to Danny. I don't know who this guy is. I have no idea. But his name is Adrian Cantrow, M.D. And then Sammy Davis and MLK. I think I got it. My Dorian went back to the 60s. Kyle. <laughs> I don't know, Saxton. I don't know what that's all about. I have no idea. KJ's going to come in for 10. All right, KJ, Sandy, and Nancy are going to come in. Sandy's at 12. <laughs> T, is that? Yes, Michael, it is. Oh, not wits, not W. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. It's hard to say. You probably can't see it in his jacket because his arm is covering. But, yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, he won a Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, maybe. Sandy's in for 17. Ed had Sammy over the house in 1973. Dr. Kevorkian might be worth something. He performed the first human heart transplant, I think. Ah. I'm going to put them up with the family photos I got last night. Oh, you bought family photos, KJ? <laughs> Nancy comes in for 20. American cardiac surgeon whose team performed the world's second heart tr transplant attempt. Ah. KJ's in for 25 now. Sandy's out. Nancy's in for 30. Let me get a hit, hold of Dr. I nanny for. And they say you can't pick your family. Hmm. 32 to KJ. Got it, Chris. Nancy's at 35 now. Thirty-seven from KJ. Forty from Nancy. Thirty-two 
I'll leave them all in these sleeves too, guys. I think you meant like, but I understood. <laughs> I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. Yeah, well, it's hard to say. See, it does say can't trow. See it there? I don't think, I don't know. But it, it's hard to say because the on is not there. So it's can't trow. Looks like the signature's can't trow. 42 now. Okay. Forty five now from Nancy. so quiet I'm not used to not hearing the Vikings Donna must have us muted I'm here oh, okay so quiet Why? yeah <laughs> I did I went and got some more stuff okay God, Dean All right, KJ, let us know. 50 to KJ. Nancy's out. All right, we're going to call it to KJ. What are they, pictures of famous doctors or something? Well, this is the guy who performed the second, I guess, heart transplant in the country. Oh, That's God. what everybody's telling me in the chat. This is Steve and Edie Gourmet. I'm sure you know them. And this is Sammy Davis Jr. and Martin Luther King. Oh, how cool. All right. We're calling it to KJ. Thank you, KJ. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, anybody who is bidding. Appreciate it. All right, honey, you can go. All right. Uh, so I, I put together a couple of small ephemera lots. I'm going to do it in two different lots. The first one, they're they're in rough Thanks, shape. Gary. They're kind of in rough shape. You can see the binding on them, but it's a Look magazine, and it is from 1939, 10 cents. 1939. I don't want to handle it too much, but um, I think that it's a pretty great ephemera lot. Flying to Europe in a Yankee Clipper. Okay, so there's this one. And like I said, you guys, I mean, it's really, really, you know, in delicate condition. And then this next one, actually, the cover is off of it. Um... But here it is, Hitler faces Stalin in the Ukraine, Look Magazine, 1939, and the cover is off of it, but look at how awesome as far as ephemera goes. It's a really beautiful piece. Look at this one here. Shirley Temple, The Little Princess. But it's the whole book. It's just that these two pieces are off of it. There's an advertisement there for Listerine, which I thought was really cool. And um, how so much did you want to start with this lot for? Twenty-five. Thank you. 
Um, and there's there's the actual magazine with the front and the back off of it, but I do have the front and the back. It's just not on the magazine. Um, but look at some of the advertisements in it. You could probably rip these pages out and sell them just the individual paste, uh, pages. There's some army stuff in them too. Here, this one is, can the Russian army stop Hitler? I mean, they're really awesome, these magazines. Okay, so that's the second one. And then here is the third one. And it is complete. And it's look. And it's 1939, 10 cents again. And look at what's on the back. Remember the Lucky Strike cigarettes? And this one is whole. It's all together. And I'll show you, um, I'll just randomly open up to one page, the Union Pacific. And it's got some great photos in it. Okay, so there's that one. And then here's the next one. And it's 1938. 10 cents. And there you have it. And again, with the Lucky Strike cigarettes in the back. And I'll just open up to a random page. And who do we have here? In September 1937, Joe Lewis defends the world's heavyweight title. Tommy Farm wins the 15 round. So, yeah, that's just a random page I opened up to. Um, and this one is intact, but like I said, I don't want to um, handle them too, too much because, um, oh, look at this. Carl said, can I see the front again of that? Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I guess you showed it when he was asking. Okay. And then here's another one. 10 cents, 1938. This one is in the best condition out of all. I think there's four or five of them. Four or five of them. all buy a new car so yeah they're pretty cool so that's what you get you get one two three four with the pages the front net the front and back are here they're just torn out of the book but they're here and five, five very old, very awesome magazines. A true treasure in my eyes to even find them in this condition, 1930, 30, 38, 39, some of the other dates, 38, 39, yeah. Okay. So let's see. Let me go over to my YouTube, see what we have for bids. We have 30. Maria Maria is out. Vintage Treasures wants them for 30. I'm busy talking here and didn't realize I was muted. <laughs> I do the same thing all the time. I'm like, why is she saying, let's see where we're at? I've been calling the whole time. <laughs> uh -oh, okay, Fry, feel better, honey. I'm sorry that you're in pain. You feel better, K Fry. Carl's in a 32. Thank you, Carl. Okay. You guys want to see another inside page of another one? I'll open up to just another random page. 
35 from Vintage Treasures. Here's another random page. We colored shirts. Look at there's even color. Yes. 37 now from Nancy. 40 from Vintage Treasures. There's your Glamour Girls. Was this pre uh, Playboy? <laughs> Who knows? They go native in Hawaii. Ooh. How daring. 50 now from Vintage Treasure. Thank you, Vintage Treasures. Carl says that 1938 one is nice. The 1938 one is nice. This one's 1939. This one's 1939. I want to see which one he thinks is nice. 1939. 55 19, now, Nancy. 1938. There's two of them that are 1938. There's this one. This must have been before movies were censored, right? Look at how movies are censored. And then there's this one from 1938 birth control margaret sager versus reverend edward curran can you do we do it ready for bed betty davis tells and then death dive Some nice comics in there. What's the matter? The glass, it's glass. A spider. A spider? Well, step on it. It's dead, but it's, it's But dead. it's huge. It has a really long leg. It does? What are we killing? What are we killing? She's seeing, she said she sees a really big spider. I want to go see it. Let me see. Look at that. Oh, it's just like a daddy long legs or something. Yes. Are you kidding? Oh my God, it has huge legs it's on huge. it. Huge. What do you I mean? Know. It's just a daddy long legs. Yeah, but those are not dangerous. Daddy long legs aren't dangerous. Scary. Oh, don't be such a sissy. Says you. Says me. I'm not afraid of spiders. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, like I said, I mean, even the colors in these, look at that for being as old as it is. Super cool. I could get caught up in looking at these all day long. Latest news from the Quince. Who's the Quince? No idea. Their first encounter with pets find the Dion Quintuplets definitely passed the clumsy stage and are well into the mischief age of childhood. They are sturdier, healthier, more playful and cuter than ever. Oh, so maybe these were like the first, I don't know, quintuplets. Oh, I have to do some, uh, have to do some research on that. All right. We're sold to Nancy for $75. Oh, God, look at this lingerie picture. Princess chic. Hmm. Okay, so we're sold? Yes. All right, these are awesome to Nancy. Nice job, Nancy. I would. I don't know if you're going to sell the whole magazine or even just rip out the pages and sell them individually. For ephemera people. Okay. So this is going to be the next ephemeral lot. Boat Ranger was like scandalous. It was scandalous. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me just move this. Oh, really, Susan? 
What's that? Susan said those poor kids were institutionalized like animals in a zoo. Really? Why? I don't know. Nancy, 75 for the magazines. Nancy says, I'm going to read them first. I know, right, Nancy? They're pretty awesome. Okay, here's my next lot. It's another small ephemeral lot. I'll show you what I have. These were definitely torn out of um, Norman Rockwell. It says post cover 1928. Um, they were definitely torn out of a binder or a book or something. It says Norman Rockwell at the top. Norman Rockwell again. Original oil painting, post cover 1957. So I don't know what these are. I don't know if those were torn out of a book or what, but I'll show you what I have. Then I have this one. And this is an old advertisement from the tomato garden. Hey, James. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. Hey, James. How have you been, honey? Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you, Schreiker. I did I did broadcast over to Twitch, but I haven't seen if anybody came over from Twitch. So this one is 1974, Hickory Plague, Nevada. And that's what it looks like. That's oh, it's a cool. tomato. <laughs> it's a tomato. And this one... And these are all original. This one looks like it has a little bit of, um, it's dry. It's not wet, but it looks like it may have gotten some mold on it. Um, this one is 1975. Grandpa's Wonder Soap Beverage Company, Bev Beaver and Company. So there's hey, Elizabeth. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, Elizabeth. Okay, and then we're back to some Norman Rockwell, what seem to be cutouts. And another Norman Rockwell cutout. Like I said, guys, I don't know if these came out of a book or where they came out of. This is the way I got them. And here's another one. And here is a advertisement five cents it's it's original it's not a copy um it looks like it may have been i don't know what's liberty maybe a magazine or something yeah that's a magazine five cents and then i have this which is a poster that's bugs henderson and the shuffle kings and it was in um, 06, Bam Room Room, Lake Worth, Florida. And there it is. And that's a poster. Advertisement, I guess, of that band, whoever that band is. I don't know. And here is another. I have no idea who this is. Adrian Ballou. And it's Lake Worth, which is right down here in Florida. Lake Worth is approximately 35 minutes away. And this one, The Mothers of Invention with Lenny Bruce freaking out. Hi, Janine. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. Frank Zappa, July 4th, 1966. Oh, and great year. Is it? Yeah, awesome, yeah. And this is, you know, an original poster. Is that Frank Zappa? Yep. Okay, so there's that poster. And these I'm going to roll and put into uh, a tube or a triangle. And then there's this one. Johnny Lang. Tour promotion of his new album. Bluegrass comes in for 25 And all of that. And this one doesn't have a date on it. That doesn't have a date. So that's what you get. You get these posters. And... 
and this looks like a magazine cutout. These look like they're probably like book cutouts. Hey, Jules. Happy Valentine's Day. KJ comes in for 30 now. This one is a old advertisement for sure. 35 now from Anthony. And this one is an old advertisement for sure. And more evening post cutouts. And they have pictures on both sides. The cutouts. 40 now from KJ. So and that's what you get. This one has um, something written on the back of it, but I can't make it out. I have no idea what they're saying it's there. It's backwards. It's backwards. Something Prairie, Texas. Carl's in at 42. Thank you, Carl. She with hand spray. Okay, I just wanted to zap up. I don't know. Oh, sorry. This is the zappa. 44 from KJ. Carl is out. 1966. Great year. San Francisco. $3 to go to a Zappa concert. How do you like that? Pretty crazy, right? Ricky, do you like Zappa? Frank was the man. Huh? Frank was the man. Frank was the man. You got to come see this poster I have. I have an old Frank Zappa poster from 1966. Wow. I didn't even I didn't even know what I have. I didn't even know what it what it was him. Look at how awesome that yeah, is. Frank. Isn't that great? Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's that old, is it? 1966. Is that what it says? 66? Yeah, that's what it says on it. 1966. It's definitely original. All right. We're going twice now to KJ. And with a fair warning. Shouldn't roll that. Can you ship it flat? Can I, is this, this is advertising material, isn't it? I could put this in cardboard, two pieces of cardboard and ship it flat if that's the way you want me to, to ship it. But I don't mean, I think rolling it wouldn't really damage it, but I can do it flat if you prefer flat. KJ won it. So let's see what KJ wants to do. Oh, flipping hot finds! You're lagging, honey. Flipping hot finds is saying how much it sold. Sold, sold, sold. I'll just, I'll just ship it flat, just to be safe. I'll put it in between two pieces of cardboard and ship it flat. Okay. So, um, posters, they went to KJ? Yes. For how much? $44. $44 to KJ. You got it, honey. Flat it is. Okay, your turn. Is it my turn already? I don't know. I can keep going if you want me to. Yeah, there's something else. I wasn't ready. Okay. Well, go get ready. Okay. All right, I'm going to do a clothing lot. Let's see. Let me just grab it. It's right here. I've got orders all around me, you guys. So I'm having a hard time to maneuver around. All right, so here is a clothing lot. And the first piece is... It's a mixed clothing lot, men, mostly men's jackets. This is a uh, Joseph and Lyman. 
It's Italian linen. Italian linen, and it is a size extra large. It's a beautiful men's Italian linen shirt. Not a spot on it. Italian linen sells very, very well. It's beautiful. So there's an Italian linen shirt. And then I have a pair of, oh, they're Blair size 20W pants. Blair. So let's start this lot off at 30, okay? And then this is Pronto Uomo. Pronto Uomo, and it's a suit jacket. Pronto, Pronto Uomo. Let's see if I can have you see it. It's a suit jacket. It's 100% wool. And it's 100% worsted wool. And the size is not easily visible, but I'm going to guess it's probably about a 50 because it's it's really big. It's a black, beautiful black suit, probably size 50. And then it has a pair of pants, but I would have, and these are the Pronto Uomo pants. I would have, um, I would list, you know, the measurements on it. These are size 39 waist, 39 waist, and they go with that jacket. And then next is a Joseph A. Bank. It's a beautiful gray jacket. Um, the size on this one is, I can't read it. Oh, there it is. I can't read it. I have to put my glasses on, but it's a gray jacket with pinstripes. I don't know if you can see it, if the lighting is good enough. And then this next one is got the dry cleaner tag on it. It's made in Italy. It's got beautiful lining. It's Allen F U S S E R F U S S E R. Another very beautiful jacket. The nice green lining inside of it. And this one is Rome, New York, Raphael. And it's a, feels like wool. It's like a tweed. Another beautiful men's jacket. And finally, this one, oops, avalanche. Stay, stay, stay until I can move you. Um, this one is silk and wool woven in Italy. It's a green color and it is a Petrocelli. It's a Petrocelli jacket and it's silk and wool. It's a silk and wool and it's like a green. Nobody interested? No bids. No bids. Are we going to pass on it? It's one, two, no clothing sellers. Two, three, four. If you count the pants, is five with the jacket, is six, seven, eight pieces altogether. Eight pieces. Anybody, anybody, anybody? This is a tremendous lot. All right, let's pass on it because it will be expensive to ship because the jackets are so heavy. If anybody decides they want to make a bid on it, you can let me know that I have it. Sandy's asking, would you be willing to sell the first two pieces? Um, Sandy Kirk? Yeah. The linen shirt and the pants. Um, I could. 
What's her offer? We need an office, Sandy. Okay, you can let me know. Okay. Let me do this while she's still not ready. I'm sorry. I'm still sitting, I'm still sitting there. Not doing sorry. anything. I'm sorry. Okay. I have this granny blanket. I'm going to start this at um, $15. Um, it's... It's that would stand easy to offer for those two pieces, by the way. 15. Okay. All right, Sandy. So it's um, you know, it's it's this big. It's not huge. You know, it's like just a nice lap. Do I look like somebody's grandmother? So do you want me to sell lot nine, the men's? Yeah, lot number nine to Sandy Kirk for the pants and the top. To Sandy for 15. Okay, so this is lot number 10. Okay, Sandy, I got you. Okay, so there's this one. 15 to start on this. There's that granny one. And then there's, you know, these were trending for a while. I don't know if they still are. These are like dolphins colors. There's this one. This one's pretty big. This one is a good size one. This is definitely like a lap blanket. There's this one that's gonna go with it. And finally, this one, which is super, super heavy. Um, and it says on it, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. And it's a really heavy, heavy knit. It's very, um, you're welcome, Sandy. Thank you. It's a very uh, heavy blanket because it's a very tight knit. So not, all three of these are in one lot? All three of them in one lot, 15 to start. One, two, and three, three pieces. Elizabeth is a 20. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Connie. Twenty two to Connie. Carolyn, thank you. Elizabeth is out. Connie's at 22. Carolyn, let us know what you want to do, honey. 24 would be the next. Twenty four to Carolyn. I don't know if these are still trending. 
There's three. Three of them. There's one. Two. And the really big one that says Jesus loves you. Three. This one's actually really beautiful. And it's so heavy. It's very well done. I got these blankets out of the um did I did I ever tell you guys about the storage unit that I bought that the woman Connie's out Carol Ann's at 24. The woman was a ephemera collector. So this was about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. And I bought the unit because it was just stacked boxes, brown boxes. And I paid, oh, I don't know. I probably paid about $800 for the unit. And we got in there and I remember Bolo Buddies, I did a video and I remember Bolo Buddies commenting on the video, no, don't throw that stuff away. This woman saved, it was all ephemera. It was all paper. It was all old, old books, old paper, old advertisements, um, old pictures, old stationery. Like I'm talking from like 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. A whole entire storage unit full of it. And we loaded it all up in the trailer. This is before I even knew that ephemera was valuable. I had no idea. Loaded it all up in the trailer. And we didn't have time to bring it to the dump, to dump it. To me, it was just a waste. And we didn't have time to bring it to the dump. And it poured that night poured, poured, poured. So now you pay by the pound when you dump. So now I had all these soaking wet books and papers that we had to bring to the dump. And it cost me like another, I don't know. I mean, there was, I, I, I'd have to ask my husband because he was so annoyed because it was so much work. Oh my God. It was so much work to clean out. But these, these blankets, she also um, loved yarn and blankets, and I still have more. I actually have more right here up on the shelf. She loved blankets and yarn, and there was so much yarn in there, all in totes, yarn and blankets. She used to crochet as well, and she had all, or, and knit, she had all that stuff in there. And it ended up costing us so much money to dump all that ephemera. You guys would die if you, like today, in today, the way ephemera is selling now, like if you saw what I threw away, OMG, it was like, and I was so mad because all I got out of that unit was some yarn and some blankets. Oh, I got a really awesome Kodak, um, um, Kodak, uh, no Polaroid, a Polaroid machine thing that they had like a um, Polaroid camera. I, I, I did end up selling that. Um, I actually shipped it. I sold it on eBay. I ended up selling that for like $350. So I did recuperate some of my money on it. I have a whole bunch of pr princess dye stuff done at the mini storage. Is that what you're asking for? I have books and books of princess dye stuff. Sold, sold, sold to Carol Ann for $28. Thank you, Carol Ann. For the three blankets. Okay. Um, doesn't look like T is back yet, so I'm going to take these three boxes. I know Bobby bought the last set of this stuff. I don't know if she's in the chat. So these are, I haven't gone through them. They're boxes of letters. Um, 
I know there's some postcards in here because I did flip through them really quick to see what I have. Um, but it's for some reason, this person saved all these letters, um, 1970. Um, I want to see if I was flipping through them. I didn't open up the letters. I don't know, you guys. It's like buying a lottery ticket. I don't know what's in any of these letters. You know I don't have time to like search through them. But I was flipping through some of them, and I found some postcards in here. I don't know if this is the box with the postcards or not. But um, remember these envelopes? 1964. South Carolina to Pennsylvania. I thought these were international envelopes that you had to like ship things internationally. Um, I'll give you an example. Some are handwritten. Some are typed with a typewriter. This is the third day of duty here. And so far the way, oh, so, so what, 1964, would that be, would that have been Vietnam? 1964 was the year I was born. Let, Lieutenant Colonel Webster stopped last night while flying to Cherry Point. He'll leave tomorrow and we can breathe easier. There are some people due to be dropped from the unit and he and Doherty and Brighton are on the office talking about it. I don't see any problems in my case, so I'm not worried. Sometimes I wonder if this is all worth it. I'll have to see how the new job works out. If it pays enough money in a few years, I won't be so bad to drop the reserve. Always oh, in the reserve. I hope you got home safely Saturday. Bill Armstrong said you lost on the turnpike. The flight down here was uneventful, blah, blah, blah. Love you, George. End of Vietnam. Is that is that it? All right, I don't know which envelope I pulled this out of, so I'm just going to stick this back in here somewhere. Um, but there are some old cards in here as well. And um, I don't see any postcards in this lot. So you get this box. So fun for anyone who wants to. So this is from 1964 to 1970 um, is how the box is marked. And then you get this box. What's your start, Donna? I'd like to start it at 30. Thank you. This box is marked 1969. It says personal correspondence on it. And here's, oh yeah, so here's some of the postcards. So there's postcards in here that um, I saw. I opened up this box. So there are some, some postcards that are written on. So they saved all their postcards. This is from 1968. And like, here's another postcard from 1968. There's some old greeting cards in here. And then there are a slew of um, old letters and all kinds of greeting cards. Someone saved, I don't know, like who saves all these letters? It's so strange. Um. Middle of the Viet Vietnam War. I don't know. What does that say? Gateway Jones in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Trust me, if I had time, I would be reading. Oh, there's something in this one. Let's look and see what's in it. Oh, it's... um. Oh, hold on. I'll show you. There's these. So, yeah, this is like buying a lottery ticket, you guys. I have no idea. What are these? Tops value. These stamps. Some sort of stamps are in here in that envelope. And... 
There's a newspaper article in here. Also, don't know what, I don't know why they sent the newspaper article. Dear Dietti, I have this separation is hard for you. We have been fortunate for seven years and never been far apart. I hope this will show you much we mean to each other. I miss you. Oh, darling, are you in the chat? I think this is a darling um, letter. Calling you in the next best thing will be blah, blah, blah. Um, this has been a good decision for you. Love, George. I don't know. So, George, and it's from a motor lodge, the Princeton Motor Lodge. They must have stole the stationery and were writing letters on the motor lodge stationery. Okay, so that's the other box. So it's full of all of these letters. Let me just put this back in here. Hold on. With the stamps. They're food stamps? Like to buy food? What, like during the war? Like what's the deal with those stamps? And there's, look, I just found a whole bunch more postcards. Um... I don't see the year. Uh, so gas station. Welcome to Kellogg's. Okay, so that's that. Wait, I find something else in here. I'm curious about. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's just a fate. It's just a. I saw this. It's just a fancy. Um, Oh, look at this. From these, I went up and had lunch with Donna. Oh, my gosh. That's so Look. Huh. Are you kidding? Had lunch with Donna. I don't spell my name that way, but isn't that weird? 1967. I was glad and happy to receive your letter. I can imagine that Edward was very glad to get to book to over home. I don't know. Okay. I'm not I saw something about tomato plants. They okay. must have had a good garden that year. Did, did it say something about tomato plants? Yeah, right under where it said Donna. Did it? I didn't even see it. Okay, so that's the second box that you're going to get. So that's two boxes full of letters. And here's the third box. And this one's marked 1967. And these are, this is marked letters from mother. Letters from mother. And I'll show you how many are in this box. I'll just pull them out and show them to you. This person saved all their letters. I don't get it. Why not just call? <laughs> So, yeah, we'll open one of them up. This one here. This one is marked 1967. She had a lot to say. Mother had a lot to say. Um, so, yeah, York, Pennsylvania, January 26, 1967. Hello, Dieta and all just received your cheerful letter, and I'm so glad you and George are so well pleased with your new home. Now you know how I felt in the spring when I moved down here away from the house that also had so many ghosts. Only I lived with them 40 years, and not only ghosts, but in the flesh. Believe me, I can appreciate your feelings. Wow. Cool, right? I'm glad you heard from Bruce. Anyway, I haven't had a peep from your, from her. I haven't had, oh, Drew, Drews, Drews. I haven't heard a peep from her since she went back at Christmas. Donna. <laughs> Look. Wow. Donna said she heard from her. By the way, Donna and Maynard 
and the children are coming down for lunch or dinner on Sunday, January 29th. That is so funny. I've never seen that name spelt that way. Isn't that funny? Yes. That I have these and my kind of name is in them. I wonder if her real name was Donatella. Whoever whoever gets this is going to have to let me know. I have been managing to write or type anywhere from 1,000 to 15, 1,500 words a day with letters. My journal or diary, my projects, do you wonder how I am afraid this is turning out to, I don't know, I'm not going to sit here and read it, but I could. I could sit here and read this all night long. Hey, Susan Arrington, how are you? <laughs> Carl's like, are you going to read more? No, I won't. Sorry, Carl. I kind of get wrapped up in these old ephemera things. I like them. I only started liking them when I saw how many people were kind of interested in them. I'm like, why are people interested in them? And then, you know, started looking a little bit more deeply into them. And they are pretty cool. So here's a beautiful um, Christmas card, I guess, December 7th. Okay, let's sell it. All right. We've got 35 to vintage memories. KJ, let us know. 37 to KJ. KJ, you'll have to let us know. Here's some more postcards. KJ, Jackie. Jackie, we need 39 if you want to be in, honey. 40 from Jackie. So it's three full boxes, folks. Three full boxes. Vintage Memories is going to be out. KJ, let us know. Of all these awesome letters. She loved to write. 1966. Tried to get some information today about a good pediatrician. The profession of pediatrics at the <clears throat> something doctor in Pennsylvania. One of her kids must have been sick. All 42 right, that, now from KJ. That's enough reading. The ones, the ones that are not into ephemera must be bored out of their trees. They're like, show some more talking stuffed animals. <laughs> <laughs> Put the ephemera away. And that's what you get. Three boxes of old letters and postcards. Just Jackie comes in for 44 now. Very interesting. KJ's going to be out. We're going to sell it to Just Jackie at 44. All right, Just Jackie. Awesome. Okay. Are you ready, sweetheart? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Are you putting yourself on or am I putting you on? Uh, I think you might have to do that. Just <laughs> <laughs> All right. And there you have it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Miss right. Jackie. Susan, you've been in the hospital? Oh, Susan, is that where you've been, honey? Yes, money me. I can see you. Hi, money me. My adopted mom spelled her name Donna. Did she? Donna, get my paperwork for the monthly dues. What monthly dues, you crazy man? This is a limited edition numbered 592 of 1,000. They're all Coca-Cola pins from... 50 years of the Olympics, 1932 to 1984. How you doing, Carla?
monthly sign up. I gave my height, weight, and bank account. Ha ha ha, Pat Tease. You're so funny, Pappy. You're so funny. If you want to see one close up, let me know. It's a little hard to, <laughs> to do it on my own. Money Mason for 25. I was out with my hubby and didn't turn on the auction. Jen, what are you kidding me, Jen? <laughs> what are we thinking? <laughs> 27 from Casual Flipper. Yes, yeah, Susan, I'm sorry you're, you're in the hospital. 29 from KJ. I hope you're on the mend, honey. Money me's out. Casual, let us know. <laughs> right, Connie? Casual flippers out. We're going to call it to KJ. I lost my mind, I guess. You're funny, Jenny. We're going to call it to KJ. Congratulations, KJ. Thank you. Thank you, honey. All right, let's see if there's any interest in this. It's an extra large. It is Delta Pro Weight. And it is Zombie and Corn Return of the Dreads 2016 Tour. In this moment is a special guest. Zombie, Corn, and In This Moment. We can start this at 10, Mama J. I'm, I am like, what's happening? My, did they leave? My chat was stuck. Oh, no, Carol Ann. 15 from Julie. Julie's in for 20. Thank you, Julie.
Thank you, Summers. All right, Mama G, let's end it. Julie, Julie gets one for 20. Who else wants one for 20? I have four. Next three people who say me, I have three more after this one goes to Julie for 20. Pam, is that me? Is that a me, Pam? <laughs> okay, KJ, thank you. Siggy. And Pam. Okay, that's it. I'm sold. Julie, KJ, Siggy, and Pam. Thank you, guys. Any George Michael t-shirts? No, I don't think so. Sorry. Sorry. But anybody want any dance shirt, t uh, sweatshirts? I have some if anybody's interested. I'm talking to you and I'm muted. Oh, gee, how funny is that? <clears throat> Gildan Medium. The front pockets like that and this cool logo on the bottom. It's a women's medium. Do you have any of those in um, XL or double XL? No, I don't. They're all like pretty pretty smaller sizes. Is this a hooded one? And there's two shades of gray. Hi, Miss Martha. Welcome in, honey. There's two shades of gray. One's a little bit darker than the other. It's not much of a difference. I don't know if you can see it. They're both like, a, this is a just a paler gray. And this is a darker gray. These are both medium. So you said have thank you. Another one of the darker um, gray in medium as well. Connie only wants it if it's 50 shades. 50 shades of gray. Yeah. Um, so there's three mediums here. If you want one, type a 10 in the chat, and that's what you're getting it for. $10. Type a 10 in the chat if you want one. Size medium. <laughs> Money me. How you doing, Miss Martha? You guys go subscribe to Pat D's over at Money Me's channel. Pat D's, drop your link, honey. Pat D's is doing new content on the stock market. He actually has a challenge going. So if anybody's interested in the market and finance, it's it's a good show. He has some good content. Oh, there I am. I just made I made a comment on Twitch. Awesome. I did too. Did you see me? No. Oh. I didn't see you. Hey, Lisa Schoenberg. The Shriker. The Shriker. I thought I made a comment on Twitch too. I guess not. I'll take care of this chat. Well, with four followers, there's not much to take <laughs> care of. But thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Shriker. We appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Julie, what do they say? They're dance. You know, they're my usual. Um, they, they, the back logo is dance. Those are awesome. And, Those they, and, are and really they're distressed. Awesome. That's the way they are. They're not, there's nothing wrong with them. That's the way they are. They're distressed. And the front logo is just this little heart that says dance underneath. 10 bucks each, three mediums, first three people. First one gets the choice of the light gray. If anybody wants, 10 bucks is a great price. It's heavy blend gildan. My daughters wear sweatshirts every day, all day, all the time. Brad, yay. He's over at Twitch. Thank you. Now I have five followers. <laughs> okay, Connie, one for Connie. 
Kind of you want the lighter gray or the darker gray? It's not, they're not even really dark gray. Just one's a little whiter than the other. Just let me know. You get first choice, honey. T. Yes, honey. How many of the zombie corn t-shirts did you say you had? Four. Total? Yeah. Okay. Didn't we sell them? Yeah, we did. I'm making sure. I thought you said you had four plus the one. No, I Julie, had one so. sold to Julie, KJ, Siggy, and Pam. Yeah, the who's, daughter one, Connie. Okay, thank you, Connie. Who's V? W, who's W V Patricia? West Virginia Patricia. She's my sixth. Oh, it's Trisha. Hi, oh, Trisha. Trisha. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate it. We're trying. We're trying to build a little audience over there. We'll see what happens. Connie wants the darker gray. Got it. Thank you. Does anybody else want ten dollars, guys? Both mediums. Anybody want a lighter gray with a zipper front? Same same type of hoodie. Same thing with dance, but it's a it's an all the way fold down zipper. Again, it's a Gildan heavy blend. Again, it's a medium. I miss what the graphics are. Dance, Shauna. Dance, honey. Yes, it says dance, Mrs. Anonymous. And this one is a zip it down. $10. Buy it now if anybody wants. No? All right. We'll sell one to Connie and we'll call it. All right, Donna. It's back to you, honey. All right. <clears throat> Picky Nikki, you want the zipper one? Okay, honey. How are we calling these lots? I didn't even number anything tonight, to be honest with you. Okay. Mama G, I just, I, I. That's fine. Flippin' Hot Fine says, wait. Wait. All right. <laughs> what do you want? Okay, so this is going to zip a one for Mrs. Anonymous. Okay. No, not me. One more. What does she mean by that? I don't know. All right, so I have one then for uh, Mrs. Anonymous. I'm talking to myself too. We have a zipper for Picky Nikki and we have a zip zipper for Mrs. Anonymous. Okay. All right. <laughs> Picky has zipper. Anonymous wants one. You got it. I got two of them. I have two of them. Thank you, ladies. All right, Donna, you go, honey. Okay. <clears throat> T, how yeah. much how much you think it would cost me to ship out these two books? Um, are you going media mail? Yeah, I'm gonna send a media mail. Three dollars. Three twenty-seven. Three twenty-seven. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I think it's going up a little bit. I haven't paid attention to media mail. Maybe three fifty. Okay, so I'll start them at five. Five dollars. They're they're pretty awesome. This is the lives of saints. Um. <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know what year it is. But um, it is. I do, Mrs. Anonymous. What are you looking for? It's 
It says 1956 on it. So New York City. Misha comes in for five. Richard comes in for 10. Yes, I do. $10. It doesn't matter what they offer. <laughs> 19, 50, sorry, 1954. That's okay. I can do a full zip um, black one. Do you, okay. year, do you have a year on the book? Um, no, yeah, no, I was reading something that my kids just wrote. 1954 on the Saints book. And then this one I thought was a pretty book, pretty awesome book. Tough minded faith for tender hearted people. Nice. Oh, always excitement here, Bruce, at the auction. This is beautiful. 1956. This is a beautiful book and it's, there's a bookmark. Um, it's an excellent condition asking for, for forgiveness. That's where the bookmark was. This is the, just a piece of paper was the bookmark. So it is really beautiful. You guys, um, it talks about displaying the flag, broadcasting, good news, submitting your self esteem, re, uh, relationship respecting for forgiveness. 20 to Elizabeth, and what is the other book, my dear, it asks Moses. The other book is Lives of Saints. It's a beautiful book. Should we see where the bookmark is? Lives of Saints, St. Paul. Elizabeth said, when did I bid 20? I'm sorry, it was a typo. All right, Sandy's at 17 now. St. Paul. So, yeah, it has all the different saints. St. Saint Augustine tells you all about all the different saints. Instruction of the Virgin. T, maybe I should send this to you before I send it out to whoever buy, is buying it. St. Michael and the Dragon. T, it's a joke. Laugh. I'm wondering why you're saying that, though. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Elizabeth's at 25. St. Cecilia. It's, it's a really beautiful book. I don't know <clears throat> which one is nicer. And this one, actually, before, this is genuine bound leather. This one here. This is a leather book. It's very nice. Are you selling? Very, no, 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 no. Selling? You no, know, those are sold. Amy okay. Dorito, are you in the chat? <laughs> Don't touch them. Okay. Because you know what? You guys touched the last the last set. There should be four white towels. No, I didn't. Two sets of hand towels and face cloths. Okay. Amy Dorito's been waiting for her towels. I was gonna say you didn't send those towels out yet. No, all but one, Amy Doritos. The kids opened them up. My life. That's why I need to move my business out of my home. <clears throat> yes, this is anonymous. I got it, honey. If they're not stealing concert t-shirts, they're stealing towels. <laughs> Andy Kirk's in for 30 now. <laughs> it, it's a pale gray. It's not really a white, um, Mrs. Anonymous. It's going to be like a pale gray and a black. Two beautiful books. Um, I can add in these books as well. This one, let's see. Jenny's saying large leg. 
Who's saying Bon Jovi? Do, were we talking about Bon Jovi? This one is also inscribed 1986 and it's called Someone Cares. And I guess it's just a bunch of when troubles come along and things go wrong, let us go quickly to God. When trouble comes to us, let us never stop to whimper. So I guess it's all these like wonderful little sayings. Um, after winter, God spends the spring. So it's it's nice, big, bold writing. Um, <clears throat> the gift of friendship. Friendship is a priceless gift that not, cannot be bought or sold, but its value is far greater than a mountain made of gold. The gold is the cold and lifeless. It can be either see nor hear and in the time of trouble. So this is really nice. This is a, just a book of all different, um, all different poems. A bookmark in here god bless america so i'm gonna add that one and then i'll also add this holy bible this holy bible has got writing all over the front of it and it looks like something that probably came out of a church you know they probably stole it out of a church the good catholics that they are i mean that's what it looks like to me um but i'll add this one in so that's going to be a total of four books you get all four of them. Four, so inspirational and religious. Elizabeth's at 40, Sandy Kirk's at 42. Donna. What, honey? Was it inscribed and was it from D O N A if it was? No. Okay. It wasn't. This one is not inscribed, the leather one is not inscribed. That one doesn't have any writing on it. This one, Lives of Saints, is inscribed, and it's uh, in re remembrance of your baptism, baptism on the 14th of January, 1956. Welcome aboard, Angel Mary, Mary Ann. That's who gave it to her. Somebody said the blue one. The blue one? Yeah. The blue one is, it is. I didn't even know that. I didn't even see it. My niece, Donna. Huh. Somebody saw that. I didn't even see it. Do Catholics use the new international uh, version of the Bible? T, that's a question for you. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Susan Arrington's in the chat. Susan oh, yes, Susan know. Arrington. She would know. Susan Arrington. Be of good cheer. There is nothing to fear. Cheerful thoughts like sunbeams lighten up the darkest fears. For when the heart is happy, there's just no time for tears. And when the when the face is smiling, it's impossible to frown. And when you are high spirited, you cannot feel low down for the nature of an attitude towards circumstantial things determines our acceptance of problems that life brings. And since fear and dread and worry cannot help in any way, it's much healthier and happier to be cheerful every day. And if you're it, and if you'll, you'll, only try it, you will find without a doubt a cheerful attitude is something no one should be without. For when the heart is cheerful, it cannot be filled with fear. So not a lot of nice little sayings in this one. All right, are we done selling this book? People are like, is she still reading? <laughs> 42. There's a bookmark on this one. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Yesterday's dead, tomorrow's unborn, so there's nothing to fear and nothing to mourn. For all that is past and all that has been can never return to be lived once again. And and when lies... Call, ahead, like, please. <laughs> and what lies ahead... And we're sold, just so you know, we're sold. <laughs> Shush, who said that, Brad? Carl. <laughs> Carl? 
Carl, shush. All right, I'll stop reading. You guys, come back to story time tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. I'll read you some inspirational quotes out of the books before I ship them out. Joking, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but it would be cool to do that, don't you think? To read out of the book and yeah. all those inspirational quotes first thing in the morning. I would love that. Only does, that we, does that mean we have to do a, a weekly show, uh, a daily show now? Gosh. <laughs> I've got so much shipping to Bible do. Bible study with T and Donna. Is I'm that the sure. new thing now? 9 a.m.? Are you kidding? Julie I'm, not having me. <laughs> I'm not having my root canal, honey. I'm not doing it. No, she's saying she's having a root canal if we're going to do Bible study with T and Donna every morning. <laughs> That's not Bible study. Well, to talk about God a little bit. Donna, can you please keep the Bible? I do not need it. Okay, Sandy. Okay, Sandy, want it? Carl Box, like, I have a colonoscopy scheduled. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> oh. Carl. Really, Carl? Carl fits right in with everybody. <laughs> Mama G, what did she buy it for? I didn't wasn't 42. Paying attention. 42. Pay attention, Donna. <laughs> okay, here's my next item. The box is pretty cool. And I can't remember who it was that bought all my slides, but you might want this. Um, this is a pretty big box, so I'm going to start it at 20. The only thing is I was reading the contents in it. I think the magnifier is definitely missing because it says on the box, holds 40 slides, 3-inch movable magnifying lens, all metal folds for convenient storage. And I'll show you what's in the box. So the box alone is really cool. I don't know what year. We can look and see. But it has <clears throat> here. Here's the arm, I think, that the magnifier probably goes to. And here's the box. And then I'll show you the slide thing. So here's the plug with the light that goes into that hole. So you have that. Um, and here is the easy view slide sorter. So you have that. The only thing that's not in it is the magnifier. So you'd have to like, you have the box, you've got the thing to hold the slides. You got the light to illuminate it. You just don't have the magnifier, so you have to buy the Donna Loop. See, they didn't have the Donna Loop when this came out. Otherwise, it would say here on the box, included free with your purchase, a Donna Loop. But they didn't have a Donna Loop. Chicago, Illinois. I'm looking to see if there's a year on it. There isn't. Is anybody interested in this? The Donna Loop would probably be better. And there's the Donna Loop that you can order with the MagnaView. <laughs> what size bulb? Oh, it doesn't say what size bulb. It's just a regular bulb container. There's no bulb in it. Just a regular bulb container. Does it say what the bulb is? Why are they asking me about a bulb? Well, isn't there some kind of light up portion of this? Yeah, it just has this. Yeah, so we have to know what bulb fits in there. Oh, just a regular bulb. Or uh, use the Donna loop and see if there's any letters in it. You know how your glow light has to have a different type of bulb? Um, <clears throat> or lava lamp? Glow Maybe light. USA, Levitron. Maybe now, how come you're using the loop that way? Oh, you can use it either way. You can? Yeah, this way gives you a really, really, really close up, but I don't need to have that that much of a close-up. 
I don't need to have that much of a close up. When I put it on the can on the lens, I I put it on like this though. Right. But when I look through it, I look through it like this. Right, but you just didn't look through it that way. You look through it oh, the other way. It this way. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can use it either way. I didn't know that. Um, Carl wants to know if it's new. If it's new? Yeah. How am I going to tell if it's new? I'm going to say it's not because it has an old-fashioned extension cord on it. So somebody must have used it. It was bound with a whole bunch of vintage stuff. So let's see. Here is the red bulb that I bought to put back there that I told you guys I was going to do a Valentine's Day display, which I never did because I never had time. Hey, let's Dave Jackson. Hi, Dave Jackson. And let's see if this fits in it. Do I have scissors on my desk? I don't. There's a thousand. Okay, I got it. So it fits a traditional Yeah, if it's a traditional bulb, let's just make sure it works since I have the bulb in it. And I think the only thing that you need to do is buy yourself a good loop. Woo! And there's your red light special, you guys. So, yes, it works. I'm sure if you Googled. <laughs> right, Nikki? <laughs> this is going to take all day. Mama G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Red light district, right, Connie? <laughs> Did this come from the hooker locker? Yeah, she should she would know because you know she's well, Ronnie the, asked if the red light came from there. She would know. Nobody's interested in it. I have Connie at 20. Connie books and things. Yeah. Dang, what kind of lights do you look at with that with that bulb? You can just imagine. All right, let's sell it. Miss Connie wants it. Let's sell it. Let's sell it. Let's sell it. Slide sorter. To Connie. Going once, going twice, and we are sold, 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 sold to Connie for $20. Okay, T, you want to show something? Oh, she's not there. Okay, let's do, let's see if I can get rid of the rest of these Barbies here. This one is sold. That one is going to... Mia. Mia bought this one. That one. I have this beautiful, she's Indian, special edition Barbie. Don't know the year, but I'll look. But there she is. She even has a nose ring. She's very beautiful. And she is Mattel Toys. 2001. 2001. Let's start her at 15. Special edition wedding fantasy. Vicky Nikki comes in at 15.
24 to pick you, Nikki. Connie was 24 first. Sorry. I'll shut up. She's beautiful. Donna, which magnification is the Donna loop? Tia said, I think T bought the six. Or no, she bought the, the 10. She bought the 10. I don't know which one this one is. Maybe this one is the six. This is the bigger Yours one. Yours looks bigger than mine. Yours definitely looks bigger than mine. I have two. I have this one. Mine's a smaller one, and it's 10 times. I'm going to have to look, Joy, and I'll drop the link to the big one. Hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. Thanks for coming in. We have Bettina in at 26. Should we take a close-up look at her? It's really kind of hard to see her through the plastic. But she is beautiful. Hey, Valerie. Valerie's in for 28. You act like we haven't seen Valerie. It's her birthday. We sang her happy birthday. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're like, hey, Valerie. Nice to She's been you. so quiet. Nice to see you, Val. <laughs> By the way, happy birthday, Val. Stop. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm a bitch. I have six and I love it. What did Mommy. he just say? Kind of like bitch something, but I don't know. I paid no attention to it. I think she said I'm a bitch, but I'm not sure. That's what it sounded like to me. I'm just going with that. <laughs> is that what she said? <laughs> That's what I said. Is it? It is. 32 to Valerie. You forgot to say I'm proud of it. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Seriously, who wants to have story time in the morning with inspirational verses? <laughs> My gosh, should I sell that thing that I have that, um, you know, what's that, what's that Do thing? Do you them? <sighs> Not the Beatles album. The thing with all of the tiles. The Mahjong game. I have a really nice one, you guys. I do, too. I sold one already, too. Um, I know. Jill. I have a really, really nice one, too. Saxon's like, I try not to get up in the morning. Wake your butt up there, Saxton. Anthony, I can't. What if it's original, honey? I just can't. I got a message from someone who was told by someone else that I held it up on the screen. And um, Christopher says, let's see it. It's really beautiful. Um, anyways, he reached out to me and he said that... He, he asked me if we could work out a deal. He didn't say whether it was real or not real. He just said, can we work out a deal? I'm very interested in buying it. And I told him I wasn't ready to make that decision yet. So lot number 14 is the Barbie and it goes to Valerie. So I'm thinking this, whoever this person is, Somebody directed him to my channel that knew that I had it, and he must have looked at it, and sounds like it might be real, because he wants it. But I'm not doing that right now. I just can't. Okay, let's do it again with this beauty. Oops. Sorry, Barbie. Oops. Hi, Bobby. 
She's beautiful. She's a happy holiday special edition blonde. She's very beautiful. Let's start her again at, um, yes, Dawn, I found a Beatles album with signatures on it. That's the back. The actual game with the physical tiles confuses me. Well, this one's very old, so it could even be uh, Bakelite, because the one I have is really old. Right, Kyle? Okay. KJ comes in at 15. The year on this one is 1993. She sparkles from head to toe in her holiday gown of poinsettia and red glittering gold. 1993 Barbie. Vicky Nikki wants her for 20. You're welcome, Julie. Thank you for asking. Look at how pretty her dress is. It's like all poinsettias in the front. 22 to KJ. Very good condition. Larger loop is the 10. Smaller loop is the 6. No, it can't, I don't know. Because no, I don't think so. Because look at mine and it's a 10. Hold on. Let me put you on the screen. So what's this one? Yeah, see, hers is much bigger. Mine's a 10.5. Look at your head. I have that one too. I, I don't yeah, it's a 10.5, this one. I don't see it on my desk right now, but I've got orders all over my desk. I don't see it, but I have that smaller one. So is there a 15? Maybe I grabbed the wrong link. Saxton says maybe 17 and a half. Is that the next one up? I don't know. Ed is saying it's the opposite. Yeah, but this says it's 10.5, Ed. So maybe this one is the six. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe they're saying yours is the seventeen point five. No, maybe he's saying this one is the six. That he said it's the opposite. The the maybe he's saying that the lower the number because it's not marked. It's not marked anywhere. No, they're not marked on here. No, it just marked Carson. Doesn't tell me anything else on. Doesn't here. tell me anything else. Seven, so this one might be 17.5. KJ's in for 26, picky Nikki's out. And I may have just put the wrong link. There was a 10, a 6, and a 17. Okay. So mine's the 17. I have the 17 and the 10. You have the 6? No. No, 10. 10. I have the 17 and the 10. 10 is stronger than six. Yes. Yeah. Just buy it and return the one you don't want. Right, Kyle. It's true. It's so easy to return. Yeah, it's all the same link, says Saxton. You just have to choose the size. Yes. That's none of the link. They can pick, click on the link and choose the size. Okay, who won this, KJ? KJ for $26. $26. Thank you, KJ. She's beautiful. Okay. You ready? Okay. You need to lower your camera. 
I need to lower my camera? Okay. All right. Um, I swear you have the six, Donna. That's what I bought. It's that size? Okay. So it's a photo of Mickey Mantle. And in this book is a series of part one. And it goes, this one's not in the book for some reason. I don't know why, but I'll see if I can get it back in. If I send it to you, if you really need it in the book. Um, this one is number two. And for some reason, three and four are, are reversed here. So this is part three and then part four is well, part four was here part four that's babe ruth not mickey mantle um i'm sorry what did i say oh babe. this this is babe ruth this isn't mickey mantle you said mickey mantle because that's oh, what i, I typed Yep. I'm sorry. Uh -uh. That's okay. No, Babe Ruth. Uh, Mickey Mantle. Babe Ruth. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't One know. One of them. Who cares who it is? The Yankee. <laughs> One of those people. Well, actually, Babe Ruth also played. Actually, I think they both played for the Red Sox, too. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. But it, it, it's Babe Ruth. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What's your start on this? 20. Julie, yes, I'll drop it. Tea's in the garden. T if T was in the garden right now, she'd be on the floor. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> she would definitely be on the floor. It's it's been a long week, guys. I'm exhausted. I probably have some nerve selling this, but. <laughs> What's the title of the whole thing? It's called The Yankees Century. It's it's by the New York Post. The Yankee Century. Legends, I guess. Was it, do they all say legends? I don't know if they all say legends. No. What's They're the all, date of the book? Oh, the date's on the books. 1903. No. It, it covers 1903 to 2003. But the first book, which is this one, with babe on, with babe on the cover <laughs> all the books are dated 2003 all the books are dated 2003 so it's a whole series and it's from it just covers a hundred years. And it goes to part 10. So there's 10 individual books. There's 10 individual books. So all the 10 individual books are all on the Yankees? Yes. Got it. Yes. All the Yankees. Tommy Lasorda and I'm sure who that is. I think I should, you think I would know. Babe, Mickey, Cone's Perfect Game. Andy Pettit,
Scott's and Clemens Subway Series. Mayor Rudy Giuliani, Derek Jeter, Paul O'Neill, Tina Martinez. There's no interest. We'll pass on it. I could keep this. <laughs> I could keep it. All right, we'll pass on it, Mama G. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I'll give it to my nephew. He loves the Yankees. All right, let's see if there's any interest in these. Bunch of cards in a case. You guys will have to tell me who the Cincinnati Reds number 11 is. I know, Saxton. <laughs> Edgar Cruz, rookie. And this is numbered 980 of 3000 on that one. <coughs> <coughs> Carlton Fisk. Oh, Barry Larkin. Thank you, Michael Whalen. Thank you, Michael Whalen. George Brett. Nineteen seventy six on that one. Kirby Puckett. Okay, we've got some questions on years. Okay. Carlton Fisk is that nineteen seventy three? Okay. George Brett, what was the year? Seventy six, wasn't it? 76 on the George Brett. Carlton Fisk. Seventy-three. Seventy-three on the Fisk. And this is seventy-six on the on the Brett. Nice condition, though. I didn't finish showing you that one, did I? That was Kirby Puckett. Hall of Famer George Brett, Kansas City Royals. Yes. You probably have to go through them again because some of those first ones were blurry. Okay. Randy Velarde, this is two of 99. Holographic silver. Okay, Little Martin's Nest. Yeah, I'm trying, Miss, Mrs. <laughs> Anonymous. <laughs> I'm so trying. Casuals in for 27 now.
You're doing a lot better now. Okay. Chipper Jones. Julie, Julie Casual's in for uh, 27. You want to do 29, sweetheart? Just call me Mrs. A. <laughs> hey, Azalea. Azalea's in for 32. Feel like I need to loop for this one. Okay, do you remember how many tiles it's supposed to have? Every game is different. 2013 with a star. I don't know what that means. Every game is different. Then there is a box of a few Baltimore Orioles. <laughs> Actually, it's just two, and they're both number 160, Brooks Robinson. That's two of those. Then there's a box with Don Mattingly, 1991. I'm not sure what kind of car. I think these are just promotional or something because they just have the uh, Yankees insignia. And they just have a back like this. And this is what it is. Oops, the wrong way. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Don Mattingly's from nineteen ninety one is the date on that. And the backs all look the same. And then there's two Padre cards here. I don't know why they're here, but I'll just throw them in um, as they're sitting in front of me. I have no idea. Uh, I'm assuming this year. I'm assuming this year was um, was signed cards like digitally signed. I don't think these are Butch Metzger. And Ted Kubik. And they're both 1976. I can just tell by the year of the card. Yeah. Well, maybe 77. Oh, yeah. 77. Look like 76. 77 on both of those. I don't know. All right. But that's the lot. And you know what? I know somebody wanted this Babe Ruth picture. Let's throw one in. I have a couple of them. I'll throw that in the lot, too. Bluegrass is in for 55. Azalea's out. Paul, let us know.
pulls in at 60. Oh, and guys, don't forget, did I sell a sports lot? No, I didn't sell that other sports slot. Okay, and I got Larry's answer on the other one. Um, whoever wins this will just have to tell me which book you'd like. Anthony's in at 65 now. Thank you. All right, Vintage Treasure is going to be out. We're going to sell it to Anthony, Bluegrass Picker. Ooh, sniper, Cindy Murphy. <laughs> Cindy Murphy sneaks in. What's up, Cindy? 70 now from Cindy. All right, Anthony's going to be out. We're going to go once to Cindy at 70. Going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold to Cindy. And Cindy, get a choice of a book. Just let me know which one you want. The Subway Series, Unforgettable, or Ichiro. Which book would you like? Which one did you want, honey? Let me know. Subway series. Okay, got it. Subway series. Thank you, Cindy. Okay. I'm going to do this as a one-off. The box is not in great condition, just FYI. It's not it, It's not a new with um, <laughs> box for Amazon or anything like that. It's a heart rate monitor, Polar. Great for serious exercises across trainers. You could see why I'm selling this. Revolutionary soft transmitter made from fabric material. Yeah, the box, like I said, the box leaves a lot desired. Don's going to come in for 10. Thank you, Don. Exercise timer, average heart rate, large uh, target zone TZ with alarm. Time in zone indicator, full function watch, own cal tracks calories burned, own zone sets daily, water resistant receiver, waterproof transmitter, recall information with exercise, exercise time, average heart rate, time spent in zone, calories burned, percentage of fat calories burned, cumulative calories, cumulative exercise time. <laughs> what year is it, Carl? That I don't see on here. Maybe you guys can see it someplace. Holy crap. <clears throat> you guys, I think there's a congratulations in order for me for this evening. Why? 
I've received the most thumbs down I ever have in two years. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <clears throat> Holy crap. You know what they say. Carl, I don't know. I don't see you yet, honey. How many are there, Donna? Huh? How many? What? How many? Um, 19. <gasps> 20 now. <laughs> Lana's like, buck them. <laughs> Yeah. Right, Carlo? Yep. Just have a drink. That's all. Have a cocktail. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't see it. All right. Let's sell it to Don. If Don wants it, let's sell it to Don. Don's got plenty of stuff coming. I can put this in with his stuff. Yeah, someone did. Julie, somebody who's watching just hit it again. I know, right, Nikki? 21. Someone else hit it. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised. I can imagine. All right. I know who it is. Yeah. Someday I'll tell my story. Ooh. Okay. Ready? I'm going to show you what I have here. I am going to put a reserve on it, you guys, because I did show it to someone. And they sold a very similar one for a lot of money. And I kept saying, I'm going to put it on eBay. I'm going to put it on eBay. And I haven't, um, I have not tested, but I, I was told that this is uh, probably Bakelite. So these are, um, I don't know. I've never seen them. T, have you ever seen them with these little? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, they have these little Brass. Kimberly, Kimberly with the two dollar hearts. Hey, Kimberly. Oh, I'm going to show you a picture in a minute. You guys, stay tuned. I have a cute picture of Kimberly. Okay, so there's one, two, and three, four. We know it's you, Gary. We know it's you. <laughs> And five. There's five of these. And I think I counted. It's it's a uh, Marjan game, Carl Bach. I think I counted 156. I'd have to probably count them again. 156 tiles. And the tiles are probably also fake light. It's very old. And it has the wheels, it has two wheels that come with the game. And the <laughs> dice. Um, I'm putting a reserve on it. <clears throat> Let me see, it's 22 across, one, two, three, four, five, six. 22. It's a Marjan game, Nancy, Marjan. It's a Marjan game, and it's something that should go on eBay. But if I can get a decent price from you guys, I'll sell it. Yes, that's correct. I think there might be an H in there, Iris. 152 Carl comes in for. Oh, no, he says not my bed. I'll spell it in the chat for you guys. It's M A H. J O N G. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> oh my God, you'll put it in the chat. Thank you, Richard. If you look up like 10 comments, I already put it in there. <laughs> Sorry. Somebody asked me how to spell it. Oh, that's all right, Iris. You were close enough, sweetheart. Okay, if there's no interest in it, you guys. They're asking for a start. <clears throat> 500. Five hundred is the start. Only because 
the person who looked at it for me is credible and sold one very, very similar for close to 3000 on eBay. Nancy wants to know what the reserve is. The reserve is a thousand. I know it's a lot, but it's probably something that I should put on eBay. Thank you. Thanks, Carl. Too rich for my blood. I know, Nancy. I thought I'd show it just in case. You know, I always say you have to spend money to make money. It's very nice. It is, Carl. It's beautiful. And it comes complete in this beautiful case. It's like perfect, perfect condition. Donna, put it on eBay. Yeah, I will. Along with, like, oh my gosh, I have so many things I should be putting on eBay. Trust me. <coughs> okay. All right. Well, with that being the last hurrah of the night uh, for me to you too, honey. Oh, I'm exhausted, babe. Yeah. Me too. Yes, I should call, especially now they're all, um, <coughs> Donna, look on the metal parts of the stand and see if there is a name stamped. All right. I will. Good night, Carl. Good night, honey. Thank you for coming in. Good night, Michael. Carl, thank you so much for being here. Good night, Michael Whalen. Um, good night, Heidi. Let's see. <coughs> Thanks, Barb. I don't. I'm I'm gonna call. I'm exhausted. It's been a tiring week. <coughs> it's a very me. tiring week. It's all oxidized. I mean, even like look at the screws. Like, how do you even like what screwdriver do you use for that? Let me see. Let me put myself on full screen. Good night, Julie. Night, Richard. It's like a special screwdriver, wouldn't you say? Yeah. It's old, right? Thanks, Nancy. No, honey, I don't see I don't see a name on it. I don't Good night, see Ronnie. Name, I don't see a name anywhere on it. Thank honey. you, Dawn. You too, honey. Good night, Good night everybody. Guys. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. Um, let me see if there's anything on the desks. There is not. Do yours have desks? Uh -huh. Did they look like this? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Maybe I'll take, keep it down off the shelf. All right. Ay, ay, ay. All right, friends. You guys, thank you so much to everyone that bought from us tonight. Please don't forget about the thumbs up on the way out the door. It's much appreciated. Thank you. We will be doing invoicing and shipping all day tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute. Let me show you Kimmy's picture. Oh, yeah. Kimberly, wait. Wait. <laughs> Good night, Picky Nikki. Good night, Carla. She says, uh, uh, the elevation we are at just so happens to be 9,111 feet. Oh, It's Kimmy and Goose. Kimmy and Goose. Chris the Goose. In the ice in the snow. Cold, cold, cold. 
Thanks for the picture, Kim. Kimberly, I love it. Yes, no mail tomorrow. All right, you guys, we love you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jen. Good night, guys. Tomorrow's President's Day, yes. Yeah, they're so cute together, right? Now he's a Canadian goose. No, he's in um, Denver. He's a Denver goose. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. No mail or no mail? No mail. All right. Good night, you guys. Thank you so much. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, Mama G. Thank you so much Thanks, for all your help. You're welcome.